Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with oxygen not included. Uh, wherein we've expanded our steam turbine system here to deal with the heat from the volcano. Got something to print right now. Glass isn't that exciting. I guess we'll take the copper. I am this guy. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, despite having 190 degree steam in here, the turbines are working. With a mixture of passive and active cooling. Veldak, beep beep beep, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I need to kind of get my bearings again with what projects we are up to with this save. Oh yeah, we got everyone nice beds. Uh, 14 in total, fantastic. Um, we are venting waste gases up here. Ooh, found the elevator. Although I guess that's not that exciting, actually. I don't remember if there's anything actually useful in there. It's just law stuff, I think. But we know how far up we have to go to find the surface. Um, really not sure what I want my next project to be right now. We do have this uh, natural gas that we haven't taken advantage of just yet. We're still trying to empty all of this. Um... Apart from natural gas. It's going to be a bit of a problem now. I could just send it all into... Uh, the waste pipe, I suppose. Until we get everything cleaned up. Why are we... Oh no. Oh no. Um, let's not... Keep pumping little bits of natural gas out here. Uh. That's definitely not what I wanted. Can't remember what kind of geyser we have down here. Uh, what do we got? Chlorine gas vent. Yeah, I don't know. Whoops. I don't know what I would actually do with that. Uh, we may as well take a peek. How's our temperatures looking? Oh, that's good. 26 degree water. Fantastic. And lots of it. Are we bringing in water from up here? Not yet. Um, we are bringing in a ton of polluted water. Yeah, that's going to last a while. Cool steam. Not, not warm enough to run a steam turbine. That's kind of annoying. It is a source of water, but... We have to delete a lot of heat with it. And we have to pay electricity to pump the heat. What temperature does this come out again? 95 degrees. That's actually worse. Uh, no it's not. It's 15 degrees better. How's our copper doing? Four tons. Seems good. Is our steel getting made? Looks like it. 
disabled by automation grid because we've got a bunch of steel here. Yeah, it's actually it's actually full. Nice. Yeah, I think the thing to do this time is start building out solar panels. Which is going to be a pretty big project. Um, I should definitely get some spacesuits worked out for this area up here. I'm thinking maybe... Um, at Moosuit checkpoint over here. How hot is this? It's only 27 degrees. So I'll have, say, an Atmo suit checkpoint, room for four docks. We'll need some oxygen pumped up here. I have to put a tile here. Probably a mesh tile would be better. OBS is currently active. You don't say. Uh, no, I definitely don't wish to exit OBS. Okay, cool. Good talk. Don't know how that came up. And I don't see any reason we can't just cut through this. Wait, why is this lead pipe... What am I copying? Gas pipe? What? Confusion? How is t hacks doing? How is life? Eating anything good recently? I'm eating a homemade pizza today. Um, unfortunately, not the nice brand of... Uh, how can I describe it? Like a pizza base with garlic and stuff. Uh, seems to be more difficult to get these days. Other than that, I've been a little bit literally sick and tired, unfortunately. But not so bad that I need to take a day off, I think. I definitely wouldn't feel better missing a stream. Alright, so step one. Um, Atmo suits. We're going to need another four, potentially. Uh... Here it is. Apparently we've got one lying around already. Are they all in place where they're supposed to be? Looks like it. Alright. Atmosuit copper. One, two, three. Why is copper supposedly inaccessible though? Throws hands in the air? We have presidential elections in January. There's a pre all candidates rejected pineapple on pizza. Oh no! Um, is there a reason why? Oh, never mind. It's working now. I don't understand why the. Why it was acting like we didn't have the copper available for the Atmo suits. And that's interesting. This door is forbidden. Like, permissions to go through it either direction are 
not allowed. But this dupe just peeked her head through and opened the door anyway. Very cool. Alright, we're gonna need some oxygen up here. And I don't care about losing a little bit of gas to the outside. We'll just have a couple of... Well, I may as well make them... Mechanized airlocks. Over here. Although, I'm gonna need a transformer. Maybe I should just have a transformer way down here. Eh, never mind. Transformers. Make this one out of gold amalgam, I guess. Can I select this? It keeps saying we have no copper when we very clearly have no copper. Okay then. When's the next eruption? Uh, 25 cycles? But that's not tomorrow. Fine, I'll make some of this out of lead. I don't think this area is going to get too hot. Probably. Um, heavy watt, lead, and up we go. And then, may as well use the conductive wire. Stations, atmosuit dock, lead. Stations, checkpoint, lead, and how about a transformer? Actually, I want to move this over a tile so the ladder can be closer. D hose, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where did we just get thrown to? Here we go. Transformer over here, I guess. It's probably further than it needs to be. And maybe what conductive wire? And let's get some. I may as well just dig this out, to be honest. No, let's just put some tiles here. And we'll get rid of this door in a minute. Probably. Why is this one yellow? Don't understand. Oh, it's just showing where the docks go with this thing, I think. Seems good. New printables are available again. Uh, I guess we'll take the hatchling eggs and make some omelettes. 
Oh, we're already doing that. Um, looks like we've deleted, like, oh, oh no, how can I avoid this? We, en we keep ending up with igneous rock as a tile here. We're not actually dropping water all the way down, oh, maybe we are, okay. So what if I move, um, move this liquid vent across a bit? Yeah, I wonder if it is because we're dropping water on it. If we drop water on the magma. We'll find out, I hope. What do we got here? A squeaky puffed. Excrete lumps of bleach stone, and they need chlorine. Apparently there's chlorine up here? I don't see it. I see a bunch of polluted oxygen. Yeah, there's chlorine way down here. Not sure what this guy's doing up there. Alright. Why is it taking so long to make these Atmo suit docks? Where do they have to go for lead? We've got some right here. 1.5 tons in that container alone. They're just taking their sweet time. They need someone to be able to reach. Oh, they can. Fantastic. Let's cut this one off. And I hope that will mean that we don't get these tiles of igneous rock appearing on top of the volcano again. There's a bunch of copper over here. I wonder why they wouldn't have used that. How much is it? 400 plus. And lots of little bits of copper here. 25 kilo each. Not sure what's going on with that. Do I need to prior bump this? Seems like it. And I should probably have this pole keep going up. Let's go all the way up to here. And we'll have a pole going up this way as well. That way we'll be a little bit less likely to have people get stuck because of the falling regolith. May as well decon that. Oh, 
Okay. What else have we got going on? Next dormancy in 31 cycles. How's our power been? Pretty... I was going to say pretty good by the looks of it, but... Um, this battery appears to be empty. It is connected to the volcano. We've got... None of these coal generators doing any work. None of these lumber generators doing any work because they haven't been supplied. That's a bit off-putting. A little more reason to go get that solar. I do have a system to deal with water that falls down here, right? Basically, yes. Except this is not how it was meant to be. Look at that glob of water falling down. That's so weird. I wonder if there's ever anything in these weird squares. Liver suits and deliver oxygen. Fantastic. Steam temp continues to drop, which means our turbines can handle it. Fantastic. I'd like to do better with the active cooling somehow, though. I think the only way to do it... I mean, I could always add more of these and have more of them in parallel and so on, but... I think uh, the active plus passive cooling idea is novel, but it's not enough to keep up with this thing properly. Myth, mythy, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, what would it look like if I have liquid cooling behind steam turbines? We could, of course, have a bit of passive cooling, like this, perhaps. And I could have an active cooling loop go through like that, maybe? Let me, let me see if I can find a space to do a bit of blueprint simulation. So if we have steam turbines right next to each other... And we have passive cooling, um, but not as aggressively as before. We probably don't even need that much um, time and space for the water to equalize temperature with the steam turbine. And then if we have active liquid cooling... We should just be able to fit it like this, on top of it. That looks surprisingly easy. Alright. I was going to say, maybe I'll do that next time, but... On the other hand, perhaps I could... Coulda, shoulda, woulda... 
updated this one to do the same thing. Um, and for the most part, I could just use... Uh, what is it called? The snipping tool? Um, to change the layout of the pipes. We'll need some... Uh, some thermo aqua tuners in the steam room seems good. Where do I want to put them though? Maybe down the bottom here? What shape do I want? for our pipes going in and out. I could put some of these bridges here already, just to know where they go later on. That one wouldn't really cause a problem. And I can't put the extra ones in until we're ready to make a change. Actually, now would probably be a good time to do a little experiment. Um, although... Given the shape of how we've got it here so far... Uh, I think we definitely want the liquid vents on the left side. And we can do up to five out of one liquid vent. How many have we got so far? Six. So let's do a liquid vent here. And a liquid vent here. Perfect. So for the natural, uh, for the passive cooling, we want it to just go down and then to the left. Is this one not working anymore? Did I break it? Oh, some of it, some of this water's coming back around. Uh, as long as the whole thing doesn't collapse, it's fine. So this will be double active and passive cooling. <laughs> Once we get it working. When does this thing go dormant? That might be a better time to work on this. It's in 30 cycles though. I don't really want to wait that long. But if I have a pair of thermo aqua tuners here... Um, where's our pipes? We could have liquid pipe... Like so. This one would be input. This one would be output. In other words, input for thermoregulators. Donian and Sigma Bean, welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Um, Thermo Aqua Tuna, left to right. Seems good to me. Make it out of steel, of course. And we could have three or four of these in series. Which, considering how strong thermo aqua tuners are, I would hope would be enough. I would hope. Alright, let's get liquid bridge... Like this. Um, I think we want... Insulated pipe... Down here. I'll just get rid of this until we're ready to play with it. 
Oh no, what's going on here? Radiant pipe broken? How? Pipe contents becoming too hot. Oh god. Um, okay. Uh, get rid of the bridges, please. Until we're ready. Okay. Uh, n hold up, hold up, hold up. That bridge shouldn't do anything. This bridge is causing a problem for now. It's just the bridges that make it loop back that we need to get rid of for the moment. Priority, construction, all of it. Priority, is it duties? I think that's for repair. Even as the steam is getting colder, this is happening. Oh, why is this just stuck here? Okay. Uh, what? Because the pipe is busted. Okay, just come down here for now, please. Yeah, now it's going to work. Who's getting scolded? Someone coming in without a Atmo suit. Because I made it an emergency, probably. But people are still coming through here with no Atmo suit. What gives? Oh, there's access this way now. Oh, no. Um, get rid of that, please. Priority... Maximum. That's why. I don't think it had anything to do with the... My priority. How is it that hydrogen is still... Coming in here? taking its sweet time to saturate. We got one of the aqua tuners done already, though. Alright, so... Bridges... Go like this. I need some electricity. Was that copper? We really probably don't need it to be... Uh, that's fine. Either way. Hey, damsel. Evil plot. Good to see you again. Oh, well, you're welcome. Hope you're doing well. Get those wings sorted out. So I think I want to stick with insulated pipe in this area. And we want to go down this way. And then out... Like so. And I don't think I want to put a condition on every single um, Thermo Aqua Tuner here. Fort Queen Slyman got her mount and her summon. Now I feel ten times as powerful. Nice, nice. Her summon is the little blade thing, right? I think that's the earliest you can get such a reliable flying uh, minion. It's kind of like a mini version of um, Sanguine Bats, almost. The little hallow looking knives. Yeah, cool. Killed all the mechanical bosses too. Nice, nice. Well on your way. 28 cycles. It's idle right now, but... Oh, 
Oh, and I need to put some coolant in this thing. Uh, we can borrow some... Some crude oil for that, I suppose. I could even borrow this pipe that we've already got here. Is it possible to oversaturate it to the point where it won't flow, or if I fill it up and then cut it off, will it just flow naturally? So, what what are you up to now? Plantera, I guess? Unless you want to kill Duke. Duke is kind of a brutal bonus boss, but on the other hand, killing Plantera without Duke's gear is kind of uh, another way of making it hard. I haven't found a single jungle thingy that gives me health. The um, life fruits? Yeah, they take time to grow. Eventually you'll find them really easily, but if you want them in a hurry, uh, suffice to say speedrunners don't like the, the way life fruits work. Alright, so we can put this crude in. Feel like I've been in the world for a while though, or maybe not, I guess. How long do they take? Um, I don't know, but they only start appearing after the condition is met. So like, the same way, you know, random mushrooms or day bloom or whatever will appear in the places where it can appear, life fruit will start to appear as well. So kind of random but more consistent with the larger sample size. Okay, I want to change the layout of our coolant loops here. For the passive coolant loop, we're going to uh, seriously reduce our reliance on that. Bible thump. I'm sorry, damsel. Just get better? Wow. I see how it is. Um, this goes here, here, and here. And we cut off this, this, and this to drain out the old um passive cooling loop. We also have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one, two, three of these going to the left. And we don't really need this one anymore, but for the moment... Okay. So, our passive cooling... Uh, is just going to look like this. And then... Let me just get rid of all of these connections to make it a bit simpler. Now, active cooling loop. Whoops. Going to need some more bridges. Active cooling loop is going to look like this. Don't need that little connection. And like this.
seems good. Well, actually, I feel like I should put this one over here. What? There we go. And that won't be needed anymore. It's probably already far enough for the water to equalize temperature with the environment. It's only the one on the right that's not getting cooled quite as much. By the way, T-Hacks, it has happened. It has happened. What? Damsel playing Factorio? Oh. Bidefriendo gets his Arcosphere. Fantastic. We did it, chat. Damsel keeps her promises. Alright, I think we can get rid of that. And this. And all of this. Spider friend is growing up nice and strong. Did we not get crude oil in here? I guess it's not... That's interesting. That's not enough to get it to take it in. Because it's all just heading for the nearest intake, I suppose. Um, crude oil. Let me just look up the stats for that again. It can go as cold as negative 40. Wait, what? Yeah, as cold as negative 40, as hot as 400. Why is there water in the steam turbine room? I guess I could just leave it there. It helps equalize the temperature, but like, how did this happen? Very weird. Does steam condense? Yeah, only if it gets, uh... Oh, maybe steam got out of the pipe. When it broke, that might be it. Yeah, I guess that's possible. Alright, uh, that crude loop is already full. So, is this now enough to make it go full speed? I think I overfilled it. I think this is what it looks like when we overfill it. Um, so I'm going to need a bridge going this way to persuade that crude oil to leave. I just need a little bit of it to leave so that the loop can move around at full speed. How's our project upstairs looking? Uh, it's looking finished, except the Atmo suits haven't been delivered. And this part hasn't been done either, for some reason, even though the priority is quite high. Oh, because the Atmo suits aren't there. That's why. Away goes Damsel. Alright, I need to keep checking back up here in case someone gets stuck. Uh, 
Could you maybe build these wires first so you don't have to keep going through here slowly? That's what the priority is for? No? Okay. There we go. Fantastic. Right then. What is this complaining about? No liquid output? Uh, I beg to differ. Apparently we do not have the liquid output here though. Uh, but yeah, let's drain a little bit of crude oil away this way. Apparently we can't do that because we don't have a consumer up here. Um... Hmm. I don't actually know what to do about that. I could drop some crude oil back down here, I suppose. Let's put this here, drop it right on top of that thimble reed. I'm sure it'll be fine. Probably. Oh wait, they're gonna decons. They're gonna get rid of the thimble reed if I do that. Okay. Let's get rid of this old stuff. And we might need another ladder to make it happen. Are our steam turbines busted? Oh, the steam temp is low enough that they're not working. Which is kind of good to see. We need to, like, be able to remove all that heat, basically. Um... I do want some smarts on this. The question is, where do I want to fit it? For the moment, I can just cut this off to effectively turn that off. Okay, let's throw our liquid vent down here for now. And I might even want to be able to turn it on and off. At the flick of a switch. I guess if I make this uh, oil go slightly out of its way, I can add a sensor here. Liquid pipe thermo sensor. If it is above X, then thermo aqua tuners are turned on. I could also detect a battery to make sure we don't use the last of our electricity on that, but, um... Wait, did I not connect this yet? Oh, we're reading from this battery. Until this one was finished, I think that's what the deal is there. Uh, let's see, 90, 10, 100, 0. Let's just connect this here. Oh, it's already connected. Fantastic. 
And we can get rid of all this. Spaghetti. And I might want to do something similar down here, so we don't just waste electricity. Why is this one... oh, right. They should both be active now. But uh, I don't think we have the electricity to support them. Um, we kind of do. Somehow. Where are we getting our electricity from right now? It's a mystery. Every generator I see is not... Okay, now we've got some coal. How much coal do we have? 90 tons? That's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, I think I would like to add a battery here. For a bit of power management. It'll have to be made out of steel. And I want to have logic set up so that we have to have lots of power. Before we turn that on. Yeah, no, this is right. Um, we want to have full power before we turn on the Thermo Aqua Tuna and switch it off if we get down to, say, 50%. That seems good to me. Temperature in the base doesn't look too bad in general. Uh, this is already built. Fantastic. So now we need an end gate here as well. Uh, and we need to say... Temperature meets condition and battery meets condition. It should be as simple as that. Um... As close as it is to the volcano, I think I'd rather use copper there. Uh, and the condition on this one will be temperature is above... What do we get? Negative 28 degrees from these two, in theory. Um, so... Crude oil... Negative 40... Just to be safe, I think it's fine if we say if temperature is above zero, you can run the thermo aqua tuners, but you also have to have some excess battery charge. That should be fine. And I think I will mop up this water, actually. It's pretty unsightly. Oh, and minor detail, we are going to need to charge the battery. It's weird how these some of these steam engines turn on and off bit by bit. Even though the volcano isn't running. Are we actually just running the thermoregulators? And that's the only reason we're running the steam turbines here, so it's just wasting energy. Hmm. What setting can I put on these thermoregulators? So that that doesn't happen. We're trying to cool down... What, what temperature are we down to already? Like... 84 degrees coming in? I 
I think if the steam turbines are running, this, uh, like, if they're all running, this radiant pipe hydrogen gas is going to come out. It's going to come back at almost 100 degrees every time, right? So if... If this is above 90, and if this is above... 76. Keep running the thermoregulators. Apparently that wasn't aggressive enough because... Because why? Oh, because this one's not running. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. I could just set both of them the same way, I guess. It probably works. Maybe. We'll see. So that's dormant as it should be. So once steam gets hot enough, the steam turbines run. Uh, the coolant in here is going to come back at almost 100 degrees. Set this to like above 95. If the gas goes through here, it drops 14 degrees, never mind the heat that it gains from being in here for a little while. Um, so I could set this to like 81, I guess. Current ambient temperature is 86 though. Or I could just set both of them to run off of the same sensor. That might make a lot more sense. Yeah, that's probably a much better idea. Alright, cool. This is not like it's ever going to get down to freezing temperature or something. We're already setting up the same thing with the um, Thermo Aqua Tuners here. Alright. 22 cycles until we get a peek at whether that was a good idea. 14 cycles until we get more copper. Uh, zero cycles until this mess is built. Maybe I should put... You know what? I think I will. I'm a little bit tired of this... Uh, uh, regolith falling down here and breaking things. Let's get a auto sweeper. And we'll put it apparently not here. This will work. And does it have to be made out of steel though? I mean, we're going to be getting some hot stuff coming down eventually. This is all quite cold though. Uh, if I have it in atmosphere, then it'll stay cool enough. There's already gas here all the time. I think we can probably not worry too much about it. 
So I want a auto sweeper about here. Doesn't have to be made out of steel. Um, would lead be okay? Probably not. Let's use copper. And then we just put in the bare minimum to simply dump everything in place. Don't make it out of steel. And conveyor rail. And then we need a little bit of power. Wait a sec. I did this wrong. Uh, it does have to be a robo miner, doesn't it? Uh, which means... Oh, robo miners can't dig into abyssalite. Fascinating. Um... I just want it to dig, like, right here. I guess this works. Except I'd have to put a tile here. Yeah, that that's probably all it takes, right? And there's always going to be a bit of gas here, so it's not going to it's not going to overheat. Oh wow, these first two, first two steam turbines are going ham. This one, not so much. Oh yeah, we need to get a little bit of this oil out of here. And then hopefully that's enough to make the whole thing cycle properly. That's apparently not it. A little bit more then. A little bit more then. That might be fast enough. I mean, it's coming back at 100 degrees. Even though we are running the dual aqua tuners. Why... How did this pipe get... Pipe? How did this heavy watt conductive wire get cancelled or deconstructed? And what happened to our AND gate? And our sensor. What the hell? How did this happen? Uh, was it because it was lead? Maybe. No, the melting point is too high. Regardless, let's build it out of copper. We need an end gate. We need wire like so. And we need it yesterday. Those steam turbines are having a much easier time, though. Not too surprising. Thermal conductivity too specific heat capacity, not that high.
Also, another benefit of the um, radiant pipes for the output for the water is that by the time... Uh, by the time it comes back into the steam room, it's almost as hot as steam. It's very hit and miss with these aqua tuners at the moment. Oh, we finally got it connected. Uh, this needs to be set to, I think, above zero. And the battery... Is the battery not full? It's not giving a green signal. Oh, we need a not gate, don't we? Red signal when battery is 100% charged. Yeah, we do. Uh, okay. Not gate, copper, goes here, and goes here, goes here. And, whoops. And this goes here. I wonder if it's just a waste of energy, though, having this active coolant. If we're trying to steal heat from the volcano... We're pumping some of... we're paying electricity to pump some of it back in here. Just so that fewer steam turbines can run more efficiently for a shorter time. I'm pretty sure it's a waste of electricity. But this system does have a much easier time uh, not falling over or slowing down, though. Right, cool. That was an interesting experiment, though. Double active, double active and passive cooling for steam turbines. It's not that difficult to fit together. Duke sent me to my grave, indeed. He's a tough one. I'd say he's probably the most tough but fair boss I can think of in Terraria. Which is not to say he's entirely fair, because those Sharknados can just kind of catch you basically from off screen. But other than that... Looks like things have settled down over here. How's our coolant looking? 95 degrees. Um, I probably really don't need to be setting... setting this so high. Probably the same setting as this would be good, actually. Uh, 95... So if we're above 95 degrees on... The crude oil, run the aqua tuners. If it's dropping below that, it's probably because the volcano isn't giving us any heat anymore. Seems good. Uh, 
Now we can continue digging up this way without worrying about regolith dropping down. The Robo Miner will just deal with it. And we begin the long process of sorting out solar panels. I'd like to get to the surface. And really, I'd like to confirm how high up the surface is across the entire asteroid. But it's probably fine if we just dig all the way up. And then we need to put our first bunker tiles in place. Probably just go a little bit higher than up here where we see the regolith stopping. I can't even queue up building that high yet. I think we can skip worrying about this hole for the moment. I think for Duke I need to learn the grab thing. Yeah, being able to use falling uh, to kite is very, very useful against the uh, the faster flying bosses, which Duke is the embodiment of. wasn't able to really fly high enough to avoid it. Yeah, no. Um, if you're not building an arena, I think you pretty much need to literally run... Uh, it's not run circles around him, but it's run around in a big, broad circle um, and try to control... Try to, try to get into a pattern and more or less control when and where he throws his Sharknadoes. I've seen you do it so many times I thought I might it might go better for me. Yeah, it's tough. I definitely recommend uh if you have a journey save practicing it on god mode. The final phase in particular. Um if you have the shield of Cthulhu, for instance, or even if you don't. Um cooking, digging, suit wearing. Shriveled taste buds. Slow learner, I don't think so. Let's take the food. I don't because I'm not an expert. Yeah, you've got the dash from the crystal armor though, right? I don't think... I don't think I could beat him without a dash. Um, but the final phase in particular, whether you're going to parry him with the shield of Cthulhu or just avoid him, um... If you if you can practice that on God mode and just practice it constantly instead of you know having to go through the entire fight to get up to that stage and then dying in twenty seconds, uh, it really doesn't take that long to get used to his rhythm. Dash from what now? Uh, the crystal assassin gear has a dash built into it. The the set that you get from Queen Slime. You'll probably have to kill her like three or four times to get lucky enough to get all three. Um, all three of the armor. Alright, that seems to be working pretty well. What's next? What's next is really I just want to spam solar panels, but that project is going to take a while. I should probably try doing some other things at the same time. Oh, it's a vacuum in here. 
which means this heat isn't getting transferred down here. Should probably keep it that way. Do not have the full set, but maybe I should try for it? Yeah, I, I definitely would. Because uh, it's not just the grav potion, but also the dash um, that lets you outrun Duke. I'd also recommend a flipper potion so that if you dip into the water you don't get stuck. I took that and about 20 other potions. <laughs> yep. Um, I guess maybe I should at least have a bunker tile here on the off chance something could fall all the way straight down. I don't think it's very likely, but we should probably guard against it. Still got some polluted oxygen up here. There's our first bunker tile. Just as well, because we're exposed now. Alright, how much higher can we go? I think I want to build my solar panels up as high as possible, actually. I wish the game would give you shark statues more consistently. Because that's like... Shark fins are like the number one thing that go into potions that you can't farm up very consistently. I mean, there's a few things that you have to fish for that are a bit of a pain in the ass, but um, shark fins are by far the worst. I was actually really surprised to see that water walking potions require shark fins. I didn't think of them as that precious until I looked at that. Oh, there's the top. Alright, cool. So... I haven't really spent any time on trying to figure this out again yet. But what is the new solar design potentially going to look like? Obviously, we're going to have solar panels. Ideally, I would like them to be as close together as possible. Uh-oh. Shmua, don't starve to death on the manual generator, please. There you go. I really like the Inferno Potion. I don't see you using that one much. Yeah, um, it's, it's a good potion. Um... For specific cases where it's good, it's very good, but I, I hate the, the graphic for it. It's terrible, like, it's very distracting. And since I use Crystal Storm against Duke Fish Run, it doesn't really, I don't really need it to stop his bubble spam. I should probably just... Uh, I, I play Terraria unmodded, except for when I played Ter Calamity, so I don't really want to, like, go to modded for something that minor. 
I like the additional light it gives and the protection. I didn't really notice it gives additional light. Because usually I have a shine potion. Um, okay, so... I guess we'll have to have a gap somewhere to get up here, but what do I want this to look like? Ideally, I would like solar panels to gather indefinitely. And then we need light to be able to go through. And we need to catch the regolith. And we need to mine it away. And we have to get rid of the heat that comes from the regolith. And we have to cool the auto miners, the robo drills. The robo miners, there we go. And that's probably going to be a bit of a pain. Let's see. If we have bunker doors, how many does it take before we can do a consistent repetition? Maybe I should jump into the editor for this. Uh, we can repeat once every four solar panels. And then we need some... I can't remember if the mesh tiles were better at letting light through than the window tiles. Probably. It's a little bit more expensive, but whatever. And the really tricky thing was fitting the robo miners in a way that covers everything, minimizes the, um, minimizes the amount they block light from, uh, for the solar panels. Wait, could I build the robo miners on mesh tiles? Probably. I don't think they'll complain about that. I'll just make sure. And we could definitely fit some more space between these. What if... What if we do it like this? Move all of that down as far as makes any sense. So right about here. And solar panels like this. The thing is, the robo miners don't quite cover each other. It's pretty unlikely that we'd get enough regolith going sideways to cover the robo miners. As long as things keep working for a while. Robo miners overheat. Yeah, that's one of the other problems that we have to deal with. Sip. But, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Might just be a placebo, but it seems more lit up. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a light source. Alternatively, we could put Robo Miners in series left to right, just on this surface. And as long as they cover each other, they will clear all of this eventually but there has to be one on the side somewhere that's um
that's always covered. What if we do it like this? Oh, I can't see. I wanted to see what kind of angle the Robo Miners would have up through here. Surely they wouldn't dig things through a mesh tile. That would be surprisingly easy. I think it's time to jump into Sandbox. Otherwise it's going to take 600,000 times longer to design this. What are we printing first? Free iron? We only have three curative tablets, we'll take three more. On second thought, I can't say no to iron. Alright, let's save. Wait, why is it saved as test? Uh, save as the Great Cosmos, there we go. And don't quit to desktop. Let's jump into the sandbox. Fantastic. All right. Um, and here you can see we've been iterating through a few designs before. Um, why does it say requires... Why do I have no technology? What the hell? What? Um, okay. There we go. Okay, so if we have a line of... Well, first of all, I wanted to check if the... If the mesh tiles work as well as I thought. Apparently I can't just replace these. Gonna have to delete what's here. And... Mesh tile. Let's have a... Oh, why are we... Oh, no. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Where's the light overlay? There we go. 22,000 lux. It's actually letting more light through. Than the glass or diamond windows. Okay. Okay. I guess we'll be using mesh tile. Although, if we have the occasion where something goes wrong and a meteorite gets through, uh, this is going to take a hell of a lot less damage to mess up. But we'll try and get to the point where that doesn't happen. Alright, so if we have a line of mesh tiles, we have four... Solar panels. Delete that one. And if we have Robo Miners, uh, shipping Robo Miner. If we have a Robo Miner per solar panel, they can cover each other. Uh, but more to the point, I was also wondering if it looks like it's the same as if it was any other tile. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the type of tile here doesn't matter. The Robo Miners can't dig through the mesh tiles, unfortunately. That would have made it a lot easier. Can they cover each other, though? The one on the left can cover this stuff above the one on the right. That's actually perfect. I mean... Oh, even better, the one, the one in the middle here can cover this one and this one. Could use an 
uh, use the door connected to circuits. Yeah, we'll definitely have to do that as well. Um, but I, what I originally did was had airlock doors only, and we'd use a timer. Uh, we had Robo Miners hanging from the airlock doors, the bunker doors, and when when the bunker doors were open, the Robo Miner couldn't work. Uh, so we had to like open them, let the regolith fall, close the door, let the Robo Miner pick up the stuff, and then if we were doing solar panels, we'd have to open them again. Um, I don't really want to do it that way for a couple of reasons. Uh, I want it to be a lot more fast and consistent. How far up does this go? Up to here. Oh, you can actually mark it and then just put this here. Nope, not quite. Is that right? Yes. Alright. So if we have Robo Miners like so, and Mesh Tiles like so, the Robo Miners can cover each other. If we ever get Regolith somehow finding its way in here, which we do sometimes, somehow, uh, one Robo Miner can rescue the next. It's also a perfect repeating pattern. And we also need... oh no. There is one little problem with this. Meant for the reduced range, use the smaller door above it. I was also saying in general, not a smart idea to do it for regolith defense. If a door is open, the miner can shoot through it. Yeah, uh, I don't think we really need it to, though. Uh, we need these guys to cover each other anyway. The cost density of this design is kind of high. But it's also literally the maximum density of solar panels. And we get a lovely repeating pattern. Um, is this the no-no square? The what now? Bagger, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, what other problems do we have to solve for this? We obviously need to delete heat. Uh, with later iterations of this, I had the batteries in the steam room so that the heat that they produce gets recycled as well. Um, yeah, we kind of might have to go with the windows anyway so that we can cool the robo miners, right? This is basically sort of the same design, except I've realized that the bunker doors line up if I have four solar panels, and we just get rid of the gaps. And then the robo miners can actually cover each other. I might be able to do a little bit better with the steam turbines, though. We are going to do the self-cooling model. We only have to get rid of the heat that comes in from the regolith, so we're not going to need active cooling on these ones. Uh, and one steam, one steam turbine per solar panel should be excessive. Maybe one steam turbine per two solar panels? It's five tiles wide though, so there's no symmetry to that. Um, what are we up against? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can make it symmetrical and consistent. 
if we do one steam turbine per panel. This game has so many colours, indeed. Guillotine from mechanised airlocks? Guillot guillotine? What? Um, I was thinking... Uh, I need to run this experiment, but I suspect... If I have a solar panel... And a room here... And we need some back walls... Drywall. Uh, behold the 20 degree solar panel. If I then put in... How do I do this? Brush. Steam. Uh, temperature. Lots. And run the game. Does the solar panel not gain any heat, or does it? It looks like... Okay, that's that's weird. And definitely a little bit exploity. Uh, it looks like the solar panel does not gain any heat. So we can actually use the solar panels as the top tile of the steam room if we wanted to. Uh, or we can at least have that be the top tile of the room with the steam turbines. Means colored uh, door crusher for regolith. Oh, to just delete it? I want to take it and use the heat for electricity and have an infinite supply of regolith though. So. Um, but yeah, the the drywall, the tiles, the gas. Well, I guess the gas is all gone, actually. Um, let's put a little bit of hydrogen in. And then a bunch of steam. And watch what happens. So, temperature is absolutely able to transfer here, but it doesn't transfer to the solar panel. Interesting. In that case, we should be able to have... A steam turbine. Why can't I build it? Are we not in sandbox here? What? Well, why are you like this? Um, okay, let's have some insulated tiles down here. And steam turbine, will it let me place you now? It does. And... I'm sure we only need a couple. We'll do some radiant pipe. Out of the cheapest materials. Insulated liquid pipe. Liquid vent. And, and I definitely want to have three tiles of height in here, so that we could have um, a liquid reservoir and a critter drop-off if we want to. Uh, and we could also do, like, coolant loop going through like this. 
Um, even though the mesh tile is better for letting light through, I might have to go with some windows up here just so that we can just so that we can have the crude oil in front of the robo miners um, in order to allow the robo miners to cool off because for some reason we can't just attach the coolant pipes to them we have to have them immersed in liquid or gas Chat will not advise bad, but it is not exactly. Okay. If you build the door and open and close it again and again, the regolith gets mined. Really? Airlock door. Uh, that got pushed. Airlock, mechanized airlock door, bunker tiles, uh, power source, we need some tiles over here. Power source and conductive. Okay. And then. And then I need to keep turning it on and off. We'll just use a signal switch for now. So you say we drop regolith into here, open, close, open, really, close, is it getting deleted though, where's it going? I think it's just getting deleted. I don't see any regolith lying around. But we do have a dwarven atom smasher, so that's a thing. Did you make an imperial trench <laughs> compactor? Indeed. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's let's put a timer on it. And then Tre Treasure Gun, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, how about this? Wait, what? Oh, here we go. So, regolith, like this, and go. Nom, nom, nom. Right in your case, pushes it up above him. It's there, not deleted, maybe visual bug? Well, where is it going? It doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Delete those bunker tiles and see if it's there. Um, it would be hard to delete 
just the bunker tiles, but we can just mouse over it and see that there's nothing there. This has 9.9 .9 tons of regolith. That seems like a lot. Is it getting dumped down here? I would think the number would keep going up. Wait, wait, wait. I've got an idea for testing. Delete this. Let's, let's delete everything around here. Okay. So... I don't see regolith appearing anywhere. Right and left of it. Click destroy and use one tile? What, you mean like this? That stops it from working. Interesting. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. It was because I got rid of the automation wire. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Well, there we go. Dwarven Atom Smasher. Uh, anyway, let's continue with this design. And we want... I pretty much tested all of these systems thoroughly before, so I don't really feel the need to go through all of that again. But uh, we're just coming up with the blueprint that we're going to repeat. We definitely need some... Uh, what are they called again? Drywall tiles? I think it would probably be easier, if we're blueprinting it, to have the dupes build this first, though. So that we're not, um, you know, prioritizing little bits of drywall over the general build. Um, and they can actually get from A to B. Also, how much room do I need for a rocket silo? Because when we come up the ladder in our main game, we're obviously going to have at least one tile that's not this uh, solar setup. So since I haven't built rockets before, I'd like to get a feel for just how much space we need. Steam engine? Utilizes steam to propel rockets for space exploration. Really? That's so cool. I can't think of... I, I want to say I can't think of anything more steampunk than a steam-powered spaceship. Um, we could do petroleum as well. Engine of a rocket must be built first before more rocket modules may be added. Petroleum engines have generous height restrictions, ideal for holding many modules. Um, it won't let me, like, build this yet. Okay, so we can put this here. Can we build those right next to each other, or is there some reason not to? Provide scaffolding across rocket modules to allow duplicate access. Okay. So it's basically a bunch of ladder platforms, kind of. Um, liquid fuel tank. Wait. 
Liquid fuel tank. Hold on. Solid oxidizer tank, liquid oxidizer tank. Gas cargo canister. Does the steam engine not have a type of fuel tank that connects to it? Stores liquid fuel piped into supply rocket engines. Like that. Solid oxidizer. Stores oxalite and other oxidizers for burning rocket fuels. Um, I don't know enough about this. Liquid oxidizer. Stores liquid oxygen for burning rocket fuels. Cargo bay. Cargo. Gas cargo canister. Store any gas resources found during space missions. So, does this thing just contain its own steam? Uh, looks like it does. Okay, I'm getting a bit sidetracked here. The point was to figure out uh, just how much space I would need for some for some rocket builds. Or at least one rocket build. Sightseeing module. Well, we get the idea. It is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we need, let's call it like nine or 11 tiles wide. Uh, to have the yes this has to go here to give dupes access uh, so that's at least nine tiles call it 11 I think just to be safe Oh, and the science. We need to have some access to the surface for our science stuff. Why can't I destroy this? Oh, there we go. First time playing with space stuff? Pretty much. With the rocket stuff, I haven't touched it yet. I'm just trying to figure out how much space I should leave for it before doing solar panels covering the entire world. Um, we're also going to need the same nonsense with uh, bunker doors and stuff, right? So we'll probably do seven bunker doors to fit a couple of rockets. Comfortably. Maybe. Um, but what about the signs? Where do we build that? Is it under stations? Telescope? Must possess field research. Must be exposed, exposed to space to function. Um, needs to be cooled. Gas intake, and it's just four tiles wide. So we could probably have, like, one of these in the middle, and rockets on either side, if this is our modular size. Yeah, just leaving seven of these uh, open somewhere should be enough for all of our non-solar powered needs. Also, that scanners and solar panels design. Did you make it yourself, or took some inspiration? Uh, I made it myself. The scanner one? Where is it? 
Oh, this scanner here is just for... whoops. Um, it's literally just for detecting when um, meteors are coming. Um, I haven't actually done a design for those to get the scanners working more efficiently, or not a very good one yet. Um, where is it though? Is it an automation? Yeah, there we go, space scanner. Um, it's only two by... I could probably just put it like here, right? Except I would have to cool it the same as any... The, the same as the Robo Miners. Or if I put a scanner... If I put a scanner like here... No, the regolith is going to delete the crude oil, and we're not going to have a way to cool it. So I don't think I can just work it into the solar panel design. Um, but we could probably fit in seven bunker doors, we could probably fit a couple of rockets... Um, a scanner, perhaps, and a telescope, I hope. Maps, star map destinations. Must be exposed to space. So there's two of these bloody things. I suppose technically we can fit all of that, just barely, in the space of one of these uh, modules, instead of solar panels. So we do want to leave quite a bit of room Probably close to the main ladder. Before we start doing the solar panels to the left and right. I think I'll remove the pipes because I don't want to be married to any particular material for this. I don't mind igneous rock. We know we've got plenty of that. Solar panels always have to be glass. It doesn't matter too much if we make the windows out of glass or diamond. Mesh tiles. Don't really care. And... I think that's pretty much our blueprint. Um, solar panel template. And then... I think that's it. What the? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Welp. I think it was probably blueprints, but, uh... I have no idea. Wait, doesn't this like turn off all of the mods that are checked? So I'll just have to turn them back on again. Is it going to turn off these mods or is it doing an error report? The scanners and solar panels design... Oh yes, I read that, sorry. Click more info. Index out of range. I think it was probably the um, blueprint. Yep, there it is. Blueprints dot everything. Okay. I'm just going to uncheck all of these other ones. And I guess
guess I have to quit to desktop. Let's open up Oni again. Once it stops doing Steam Cloud things. Or we could just play it. It turns off the mods if the names are in red. Oh, okay. So it was seven bunker tiles, uh, bunker doors, right? Uh, for one of those repeatable units. I think I'd like to start doing some solar panels to the left. Oh no. Save game mods differ. Uh, yeah, it did disable the mods. Alright, mods. Now I have to remember which ones we had. Players fixed. Blueprints fixed. Blueprint? Oh, it disabled everything I unchecked. Bruh. Better info cards. Build over plans. When did go to bed? Let buildings. Plan buildings, gas overlay, airlock door, fantastic. Let's try again. We load, and we load. And drum roll any minute now. Okay. Seems like it's doing okay. Fantastic. Uh, it'd be nice if I could actually use the blueprint that we made, but I guess I'll just have to reproduce it here. So, there actually isn't a middle tile here. Um, I definitely want the bunker doors as high up as possible. So that we have less of this regolith to deal with um, as we build out. Um, we've got like... Why can't I build this? Oh, there we go. Six, seven. I can't. I can't really see, but it looks like that's it. Um, and I wanted the auto miners to reach up to the top of those, and I should probably start to the left of the ladder, actually. Um, why don't I start with this? And solar panels. It's not necessarily going to be where they are, but I'm just trying to measure the tiles here. Where's our Robo Miners? Robo Miners are gonna look like this, and this, and this, and so on. They're gonna have to be made out of steel though. So they just barely cover each other every time. And then we can have mesh tiles just above them. And it's going to have to be window tiles directly below so that we can cool the robo miners. And then K. 
cancel that. Solar panels. Directly below. We may as well start by building the minimum. Even if the bunker doors up the top aren't going to line up perfectly. And then we want insulated tile, three tiles below this. That's where our steam turbines are going to go. Probably one steam turbine for every second solar panel should be more than enough. Uh, and then three tiles below that, we want even more insulated tiles. And I want them to build the bunker tiles first. Or the bunker doors, rather. So I think I'll just make sure they can't reach this stuff. And we'll have to, like, fix these ladders. And keep going up. Unless I want to do, like, a staircase of... Uh, A staircase of bunker tiles, which is not going to work out so well. Okay. That'll be the start. Come to think of it, I guess there's really no reason to try and line it up perfectly with the bunker doors up the top if we're just going to repeat indefinitely. But I kind of prefer it to all line up. Can they actually climb the broken ladders anyway? Looks like maybe they can. I want this done as quickly as possible. So let's skip some pieces of ladder. Did he just come and take regolith? I wonder what he's using it for. Probably a... Uh... Yep, there it is. A deodorizer. Old Busk. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You don't need to fix ladders. That's kind of weird. That should hopefully get rid of the last of that polluted oxygen in that room. Uh, I think I need to bump the priority on these. So we can hopefully get it done before more meteors come. There's a mod for it. The only thing is it's time-consuming to disable auto-repair. Oh, god. That's a little spooky. What's that? Oh, it's a piece of regolith. It looked like a little tea, like a little tool of some kind. Harvey is being rather brave. If we could just get this one or two bunker doors finished, it would stop being such an act of bravery. I don't really... Oh, yes, I do. I do have a way to tell them to stop going up there for now. Um, but Harvey is still on the job. Harvey, you can you can go for now. It's fine.
And I'll wait for this to stop and then open that door again. Actually, I could probably automate this already. Actually, no, I couldn't. Not without a duplicate checkpoint. And that's a little bit annoying. Also, it'd be awkward trying to fit it here the way I want to. I really wish you could use automation wire to change these conditions as opposed to physically locking the door. Well, closing and locking the door. Alright, are we done? Up we go. Fantastic, just a few more to go. Why do we have zero steel? Oh, probably because it's counted the stuff I've planned out as negative. I'm pretty sure we can at least build two or three of these bunker tiles. Up we go. How's everything else doing? Still 15 cycles before this thing goes dormant. Looks like it's... Looks like we don't necessarily have the electricity to run the active cooling here. Except for the... The basic, the cheaper thermoregulators that just barely keep this going. Um, but we don't have much steam temperature either. So it seems to be fine. I'm not sure what I want to do about this mess here. Oh, we need to mop this up. That would help. I also need to get rid of that water up there. Not sure how to go about it, to be honest. Previously, when we got water stuck like this, um, I just waited till it flashed to steam and then pumped it out. Uh, but now I'm not sure. Well, oh, there's chlorine in here as well. Oh, that's polluted oxygen. I, I just want to get it so that we've got vacuum... Natural gas, uh, steam, and maybe some hydrogen in here. I might have, I might end up just throwing a bunch of that natural gas out into space just to get rid of it. Quick question, you use your 1660 Ti for both gaming and streaming at the same time? I do indeed. Or it might be CPU that's doing the streaming. Um, I haven't dove deep into into those settings. All right, one more bunker tile, uh, bunker door. It says insufficient steel, ten kilograms. Really. Really, really? You're telling me we're missing... Oh, it just hasn't been delivered yet? No? We've got 490 steel here. Apparently we have 290, even though this is 490. I really hate the way this keeps track of resources. I know I saw two tons of steel earlier today on this tile. It looks like we don't have it though. Um, do we not have iron? We have iron. We're missing lime. I've been putting off domesticating the poker shells. We were getting a bunch of lime from Haku as well, among other things, but it looks like we've slowed down 
to the point where it's actually a problem. So where do I want to... I'm thinking probably about here somewhere. We could do our poker shell. Um, farming? Or maybe here. I'd have to move all this storage. But I would like to have a bunch of critter ranching in the same place. I could move the triage cots. What's this room for? Nothing. And we could probably get rid of these deodorizers at this point. And decon that. And then critter drop off. Critter feeder. Grooming station. Uh, I don't think we have to like shave or oh, shear poker shells, right? But we do have to separate them from their babies, which means this area up here. Um, I would like to have the young ones up here and the older ones down here. So how big is this room? Uh, probably the maximum. Yeah, 96 tiles for a ranch room. Let's do that. And get rid of this old pump. Probably get rid of these deodorizers as well. And we're going to need this room to be just as big. Don't suppose we got this built yet? No, we desperately need just a tiny bit more steel. I could maybe deconstruct something made of steel that doesn't really need it, but... Like, how badly do we need this second Thermo Aquatuna for the moment? Actually, no, I'm pretty sure... No, it doesn't have any crude oil in it. Yeah, let's let's get rid of that for now. That's what, 1200 steel? Just like that? What are we printing? Decorating, tidying, ranching... Don't really care. Gold amalgam, let's go. And how's this little project looking? Did we groom the babies? I don't know. We'll find out. What does poker shell require to eat? Remind me. I think regolith right? No, it was something that we were able to run out of. Diet, polluted dirt, rot pile. I don't remember... Oh yeah, yeah, it was, um... It was the fishies, the paku, that were our supply of polluted dirt, right? There's some eggshell, anyway. Hopefully gets a, a bit more steel. Book shells only attack if there is an egg nearby. Yeah, so we have to separate the eggs from the adults. Which means we need a sweepy. 
or a few of them, given the side of the uh, size of the room. Don't have to worry about heat in this room. Um, there isn't actually a center tile, so I guess we'll put it here, and then convey a loader. Don't we need to have one in range of each? Actually, why don't I try and make this at least look a bit more symmetrical? If we put these an equal distance apart, put some overlap. And then they can at least share a couple of conveyor loaders. Um, and we might want to have doors on this side, actually. Just for convenience. Get some airflow tiles in here as well. to get rid of that CO2. I mean, some of it's eventually going to find its way out of the base, but it's going to hang around here for a while. What's all the blue air source? Blue air source? Do you mean oxygen? What if you put a door next to the grooming station so that they don't jump? So they don't jump. What do you mean by jump? Also, how is our oxygen doing? Pretty good, it looks like. Yeah, we've got over 900. Pretty much everywhere. Seems a good... There's quite a lot more oxygen in here, actually. Or a little bit more, I guess. Let's remove all this old stuff. Won't be needing that. Alright, did we get our second bunker door? We did not. Why not? Didn't I deconstruct this? I did deconstruct this uh, Thermo Aqua Tuna. So we've got a bunch of steel lying around here. They're just not treating this with a high enough priority. Alright. Uh, is it duties? Actually, uh, we said we don't have to repair the ladders for them to work, right? So, just build this bunker door. I don't care when you fix the ladder. Perfect. And now the ladder can stop getting wrecked. Probably. Alright, we need a door, and this is stable, fantastic, this is going to be critter egg, um, can I not select it until we see it somewhere? Is it pinch row?
Quick a shell. Does it tell us about the egg somewhere? Pinch... Pinch of pepper. What the heck is this then? Critter egg... Pinch row. I think that's the poker shell egg, but like... They could make it a bit easier to follow. Copy settings. We're gonna need some power. Um, I could put it on the main power. Instead of... Having another... Transformer. That's what I'm looking for. Heavy Watt Conductive. That can go here. We don't need any power for the output, right? For the conveyor shoot. Indeed, we do not. And conveyor belt. Can go here. And then we'll just have this all connect directly. Uh, but we probably need to set up a Paku farm before... Well, how much polluted dirt do we have? Let's see. Polluted dirt. We have 35.7 tons. I think we can probably sustain a poker shell for at least a couple of minutes. Poker shell, polluted dirt, rot pile. Fantastic. And this one is going to be Critter, Poker Shell, Spawn only, Auto Wrangle Surplus, Maximum, I don't know, 5. And this is going to be Poker Shell, Auto Wrangle Surplus, Maximum, 5. And see how that goes. These two rooms are technically ready. Let's wrangle poker shell. Not sure what these two doors are supposed to accomplish. Probably I was keeping a gas in here at one point. So not too strictly. I like how neatly the pip just plops off after that gets deconstructed. Uh, so these things only pick up the eggs, right? Seems good. Can we get you wrangled today? Uh, probably not. Alright, so next I would like to build this further out. The order... Oh, I didn't think of this. By building the bunker doors up so high, uh, it looks like Regolith can't accumulate up here where the red diagonals are. 
So we're not going to have to deal with as much regolith. Um, and considering we get way more regolith than we need in terms of, like, actually using a filtration medium. Um, by doing this, we can drastically reduce the amount of heat that we have to deal with. Um, so we can have... I mean, I guess we're kind of uh, limiting ourselves for how much... Um, how much electricity we get out of the heat that's delivered from space. That we convert using the steam turbines. But I don't think I particularly care all that much. The steam turbines aren't that big of a source of power um, running up here to remove the heat. And if we do it this way, we can cover cover the map with solar panels with far fewer steam turbines to support them. probably significantly better for UPS in the long run. Alright, did we get our poker shell? No. Um, I think I have to set these as prior 9. <laughs> I was afraid of that. Okay, okay, okay. Wrangle the poker shell. Uh, I kind of had this one enabled for all critters and priority is lower than the other ones because this is where the surplus critters go because we need a way, a, a way to remove them um, but yeah this uh, this poker shell needs wrangling right now preferably before it pinch row is indeed a poker shell egg Alright, how about we just emergency priority that? In you go. Good job, Kevin. And you are going to pick him up, right? Right? Nope. Apparently that's just gonna happen whenever. Looks like it's happening now, though. All right, fantastic. There we go. That's our first... That's our first domesticated poker shell. Well, technically it's still wild, but... It'll get there. Let's get rid of that CO2. Alright, can we see how long it's going to be before it lays an egg, or is that just um, something that's going to happen soon enough? I guess. Be gone, CO2. It'll find its way down here eventually. How's our food? Food's doing very, very well. Fantastic. And we never did pick up this steel down here after I deconstructed this thing. May as well just put it that uh, put it back at that rate. Next activity in 0.3 cycles for our copper. Fantastic. Uh, 
Okay, I guess someone had to deliver that ladder. I'd really rather see the bunker door getting built though. Should probably have top priority it before. I guess technically I could cover the entire top of the map in bunker doors before messing around up in space. That would make it a hell of a lot easier. It would take a hell of a long time to do it though. What are we printing? Fried mushroom? Where am I going to put a Paku farm? I think I'd like to put it nice and close to the pinch, uh, the uh, poker shells. Because that way we don't have to take the polluted dirt very far. Um, but that said, I wanted to combine the Paku farm with a room of machines that's going to spit out polluted water regardless. I can't remember which is which. Um, the fertilizer synthesizer, I think, spits out natural gas. And the natural gas generators spit out polluted water. They don't put it into pipes. We had a decent build for this last time. Uh, it was rather big because we had a lot of natural gas geysers. Uh, three or four, I think. But we could maybe go a bit smaller this time. I would kind of like to build it in this space. The only trouble is we have to build it around the copper volcano. Uh, that's not that big of a deal. Probably want the whole thing to be insulated. Let's say, hypothetically... We go with this, or maybe even this. Probably don't need that many bits of ladder. It's fine. Wait till that's built before we dig that out. And what's this going to look like? Natural gas... has gas input, gas output... spits out carbon dioxide... We can send that straight to uh, straight to the void. So then it's just the polluted water that it drops on the ground that we have to take into consideration. Where's the refinement? Fertilizer synthesizer requires polluted water and dirt. And phosphorite. I didn't realize it required polluted water. We can just take that from the main loop though. Maybe I should have a reservoir for polluted water. That's probably fine. We should be able to have like nine buildings here quite comfortably. 
10, 11, 12, 13 if we want. Should be far more than enough. But actually I want down here to be a decent sized Paco farm. So... I want to swap this out actually. Wait, what did you just pick up? What? There isn't already a pinch row egg up here, is there? Why did I just see that auto sweeper look like it was doing things? But it didn't seem to actually pick anything up. Yeah, did it again. Picked up sandstone. Oh, did it supply it? Wait, really? No? Doesn't look like it. Maybe it did. Okay, what's this? Granite. Uh, make a tile out of granite. It does supply it. That's so cool. Very handy. Well, maybe not that handy, but it's neat anyway. Alright. Um, this room's going to be full of natural gas, actually. So I think we're going to want this whole side sealed off. Where does this go? Nowhere too important right now. So I don't mind blocking that off. Can we get rid of this door so I can update what we're doing here? Oh, here comes some more copper. Very good. We'll use it to make this door. And... Uh, what am I looking for? Heavy work, conductive joint plate. I mean, actually, we've still got a million lead lying around. Unless we get to the point where people have to travel a long way to get it. We should keep using lead for things where we don't need to worry about temperature. I don't think we have to worry too much about keeping the heat in this room. Not to the point where we need... Um, A vacuum lock anyway. And that part's already done. Fantastic. Let's get some wire over here. And we're going to want some, probably, mesh tiles. I should put the fertilizer synthesizer closest, I think. Since the natural gas plants, I'm pretty sure they don't require any direct duplicate operation. Yeah, no duplicate operation on this one, but fertilizer synthesizer at least needs dupes to drop off the dirt. Yeah, 
polluted water, dirt, phosphate, our oh, uh, liquid intake pipe. Okay. I guess this is going to be our reservoir of polluted water as well. Oh boy, is Evil Plus stuck? Shouldn't be. What are you doing? Construction tile insulated. What are you doing? Okay. All good? Fantastic. Did you dig all the fossil? It can be used to make more lime. Oh, true, I keep forgetting that. We've got quite a bit of fossil back here still. I want to be a bit picky about where I dig it, though. Um, apparently we don't have a path to dig out this mess. What kind of volcano is this again? Leaky oil fissure. Geysers and blah blah blah. Emit things. Sustainable source of material. Um. Oh, it is emitting boiling crude oil at 326 degrees Celsius. That's handy. I mean, we could, of course, build, um, what is it, oil wells? We'd have to pay electricity for infinite oil. Instead, we could gain electricity by needing to cool, um, doctoring, cooking, ranching, I think I'll pass. We'd have to cool the crude oil that comes out at 300-something degrees with a steam turbine or two. It's one more source of electricity. What's going on here? You're joking. What is this? No power? Why, why is it damaged? It doesn't tell us why it's damaged? What happened here? Uh... Hundred and eighty degree hydrogen. The loop's not moving. Is anything actually broken here yet? It doesn't look like it. Somehow there's no power down here, even though there's power here. What? What? And I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure I ordered this to be built again. Did the magma flow over this way? Is that what happened? What if we put another obsidian insulated tile here? And then rebuild this real quick. But also, why is there no power here? Is nothing powered in the whole base? There's battery. There, there's... Battery has charge. Why the hell is this not powered? Automation wires melted? 
but uh, that's got nothing to do with it says there's no power. And yeah, down here the wires apparently did melt. What the hell? If there's... Okay, so the Thermo Aqua Tuna isn't running because it's receiving a red signal. Um, the Thermo Regulators should be running, but they don't have power for no apparent reason. There's power here, and there's no power here. I... Oh, power shut off. I forgot I had this. Because the automation wires melted. This power shut off. What was this even connected to? I think this thing was a one-off, so I should just get rid of it. We had like a notification when we finally got steam. And we were avoiding the thermoregulators running in a vacuum. So now we should eventually get a little bit. I'm surprised if the thermoregulators aren't running, this doesn't loop, uh, is what we've learned as well. Which is probably okay, but not really. I should probably remove a little bit of gas from this loop, or make the loop slightly longer. Get rid of this uh, bridge and then, like, add a little bit more pipe over here. Extend the loop slightly. Uh, but yeah, now the steam turbines are working at least a little bit. We're up to 220 degrees. So I'm wondering if, as long as we keep the magma on this side, none of this will melt. Or, do we actually need to make some of our automation wire here out of steel? I thought this was copper. Yeah, I think it was copper. If magma did come here, it's not going to help to make this out of steel, right? End gate. But this tile should prevent the magma from flowing this way. Or I could do a couple of them, just to be super safe. Alright. At least there wasn't much actual damage. Glad we caught that sooner rather than later. Don't actually decon this yet. Uh, and I wanted to make this loop slightly longer as well. So that should mean that we have enough space for the hydrogen to always loop around. Not that it makes much difference. Still, I would prefer not to get, like, a few tiles of hydrogen at 180 degrees over here that we then pump into the steam room. That seems bad. I want a uniform temperature 
as much as possible. Alright, when does this thing erupt? Uh, 13 cycles. That's a little while to wait to find out. How's our build up here coming along? Very, very good, actually. I'll just do one ladder at a time so that they don't get destroyed. It'll sleep in 4.5. Next, yeah, next dormancy says 4.4 cycles, but it says next eruption 12.8. I guess it's just telling us when the eruption would be, assuming we're not dormant. If that's the case, then the next eruption isn't for a long time. Okay, then. How's this build looking? Um... Oh, they can't actually get here? Well, they can if they go up this way. I don't think they can hop across this. That might be a little quicker. Come to think of it, I don't really want them to build the airlock until... Until it's time to seal the place. Uh, we're going to want to be careful that no one gets trapped over here. And how about another deodorizer? Down this way. Actually, make a bit of a tunnel here and then put the deodorizer. And we'll open this up for a bit of a shortcut. decon that by now. And since we're not a fan of slime lung, let's cut that off. Okay. How much steel do we have? About zero. Good talk. That's why we're starting the poker shell farm. Did we get any of that fossil dug out? A little bit, yes. Why do I have a critter drop off here? Oh, that was to move to try to move the slicksters, but it didn't really work. Alright. Could probably dig this out as well. Fantastic. 
taking a sweet time finishing this off. Our hydrogen is completely full. That's a little bit of a surprise. I guess I did set it to allow this to fill up before we start turning it into electricity. But seeing it stay completely full is not something I was expecting. It's not really... Okay, it is slowly going down. Right, cool. As long as we have the throughput to not bottleneck oxygen on hydrogen. Yucky, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, everything seems to be going pretty well over here. Surprised we've got three people who can't sleep without a light out of 14. Almost there. Now I want to get rid of the ladders so that we can actually design. What are we printing? Iron. Doctoring, decorating building, digging, cooking building. Suit wearing, supplying, I think we'll pass for now. How's this build looking? Still don't have the steel for the door. Apparently there hasn't been a meteor shower in a little while, since there's no regolith up here. They missed one tile in the top right for this build. They did too. Um, that one doesn't matter too much. I'll just get them to build that when they can. Whoops. And away we go. Probably have a ladder right here. So we have a nice simple path to get to wherever. and get rid of... Oh, I don't think they have a path to it. Rebuild this ladder, I guess. Finally, we can get this done. But not before the dupes run away again.
Can you not reach that? Unreachable. Uh, okay. So now we can finally start thinking about where these things go. Um, I probably want... Fertilizer synthesizer to be as close as possible. But I want to have some smarts on it as well. So that we don't turn all of our... Dirt into fertilizer. I'll probably just do it based on output, like I've done over here. That should make it fairly easy. Except I need to know which tile... Fertilizer Synthesizer outputs to. I think it's probably like this one. Probably. Um... Or is that where it outputs the... This one doesn't output polluted water, it outputs natural gas. That should be fine. Alright, so we can probably just have some regular tiles there. And then... Natural gas generators... Don't know that we'll need that many this time, but we've got way more space than we need, more than likely. We'll probably have a row of those down here. I could have seven. Really doubt that's necessary. So we're going to have natural gas input, carbon dioxide output. Um, I think this pipe is going to be natural gas. I'll have to do something about the shape of this bit over here. I probably don't need two Atmo suits to access this room though. It was fine while we were building it, but I think I could probably just remove this one. And or we could find a way to bridge over this. Shouldn't be a problem. So let's say this is natural gas. Could definitely make that a bridge. Well, we're going to be bridging it from up below anyway. I can probably just leave it like that. And... I could just have the natural gas find its way through here. No, we don't need any gas pipes for this stuff. So we'll have... Bridge... Bridge, bridge, bridge. And then natural gas pipe like so. CO2 I think we'll just send to the void. Looks like there shouldn't be any trouble just merging it this way. direction. Um, it does drop polluted water, so at the very least we want like this tile and or this tile to be mesh tiles, but I think it would just look better if they're all mesh tiles. And 
down here we want to have our Paku. Let's see. Uh, food? Where's the fish stuff? Fish release? I could just put one between the first two machines. We need a feeder for them as well. Oh, that's airborne. Where's the fish feeder? There it is, fish feeder. I think I'll put the first one there. I'll leave room for another one of these machines. And we'll put the fish release here. And that leaves exactly four tiles before this wall over there. I kind of like that. Now, what about the logic and gas pumps and stuff? Where am I going to fit those? Power is not going to be a problem. I'm going to want to decon that. I'm going to want to sweep all this mess up. And I can't remember all the things I had to do with pumps and circuit logic and stuff. I guess we'll probably just play it by ear. It wasn't that complicated. We are going to end up with polluted oxygen, natural gas, and polluted water all in the same room here. And I remember we ended up with Paku that cleansed the water. And that was a little bit of a problem after I had assumed um, after I had assumed that I would have just polluted water in here. We could always get rid of the eggs of the Paku that are going to cleanse the water, I guess guess. Paku. What do we feed them? Blossom seeds. That's going to be our renewable source that we can't stop acquiring here. And they're going to turn that into polluted dirt, I think it is. Almond's Craze. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I'd like to get some polluted water in here, but like... Oh, there's a little bit. Where's it coming from? That's right, we flush, we go through the trees, and then we output. There's not much left. We've got a little polluted water in here already, which we never quite finished acquiring. Let's get a ladder over here, and we'll redirect it a little bit. Cut this off, and I would like potentially quite a bit of polluted water in this room. Uh, that said, it's probably about time to get our airlock in place. I almost forgot that we need to... Uh, we need to run it off of a... transformer, but I don't want to build a whole other transformer just for this. So we'll put a bridge over here. Not sure what this is doing here either. And we'll want to 
to get all of that polluted water as well. Not before we wrangle the Paku. Well, we kind of need both at the same time. What if I grab this polluted water? And put it in here. Just temporarily. Let's get a bridge over here and cut this off. So all of our polluted water from our main reservoir after the jeeps use it is going to go into here for a little while. That is a weird effect. All of these pipes plus the gas makes it kind of look like everything's constantly moving downward, only not. It's kind of cool. Hey, we have our first little baby uh, Pintero egg, rather. Very good. And once it hatches, we'll have some, uh, a little bit more steel. Alright, can we get this built one day? Apparently, yes. I kind of do want to get them to build this bit. It's starting to bug me. Let's expand our little storage area here, I suppose. We can always have the, um, the critter areas double as storage areas as well. Hey, there's our water. A little bit sooner than I thought. This is not going to be a whole lot in this big container, though. Alright, copy-paste settings, and we should be able to store all this stuff, except for whatever this is. Shine Nymph Egg. Um... I could put it somewhere. Wait, is there any benefit to wrangling shine nymphs? No database entry available. What? Shine bug. They take in bristleberry, gristleberry, phosphite, and they output nothing but light, I guess. Yeah, that's not really a production chain that we can exploit. Abyss bug, that looks cool though. Absorb light rather than emit it. I mean, the dupes would hate that. Or they'd be neutral to it if there's no light in the room anyway, but... Oh, he, he hatched. Oh, that's a moot point. What are we printing? Cooking, digging, decorating, doctoring, supplying, researching. Uh, let's just take these Paku. Um, but I don't think it's like we can pick them up and put them over here, unfortunately. So they're just going to be calories. Or fishies. All right, copy settings across there. Plenty of storage. And now we just need a whole lot more polluted water. 
into this storage. So let's dig this across. And this as well, if you can reach it. Fantastic. And we should probably get this out of the picture as well. And once that's done, I really want to get rid of all of this slime as well. This whole slime biome. Anyway. Alpha and Nanas, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, that'll be a good start toward our pangu farm. Fish release, filters not designated, aquatic critter pangu, and pangu fry. Fantastic. I guess we could start putting in some fish traps. I don't know if they're going to drop it off here. Oh, we also... It doesn't have to be a room for the Paku, though, does it? Like a stable. So it doesn't really matter if this airlock door isn't built, except that polluted oxygen might find its way out here. Is that polluted oxygen? Just chilling here indefinitely? And by the looks of it, rapidly losing germs? Oh, that's floral scent germs. Why are they reducing? That's weird. That's very weird. Why haven't they built the white plate here? Probably because there's only two people who can. Alright, is it perhaps not too soon to build some fish traps here? Nice. We actually have to check that this outputs where we think it does. Uh, what does it take in again? Natural gas and fertilizer. No, it takes in polluted water. So this pipe's not going to be temporary. That's just going to go straight over there. And 
why is this never getting built? Where's the nearest lead? I think that answers the question. Might be better to use copper at the moment. We've got 696 kilo. That's not as much as I was hoping for. We do have a bunch of it over here, though. It's just waiting to cool off. So we'll change that to copper. And... Airlock door, copper. And then we can start pumping natural gas into this room. Oh, I forgot. We probably want some... Atmo suit. To go in here. So that they don't get upset because they're going into a room full of natural gas and polluted oxygen. How much refined metal does it take to build one of these mod doors? Uh, 400. Squilly Bob, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so we'll do... Atmosuit, suit, checkpoint, and dock. We'll need some oxygen. We'll probably just take it from here. And we'll need one more atmo suit. this with copper to get it done this year. Fantastic. How's our oxygen looking? Totally saturated. Fantastic. That's what I want to see. Still waiting on this steel over here. Half of it, to be precise. get this finished so people can go back in here still haven't built any of these fish traps we do have plastic right 6.4 tons yeah I think we're okay for plastic in fact we could probably start thinking about some plastic ladders 50... Well, let me just measure it like this. This would cost about half of our plastic. A little bit more. Let's do that. And what do we have here? Operating only? Cooking, suit wearing, supplying, tidying, decorating, ranching. This is fine. Give me some shine eggs. Actually, just let them live. Give us some light. Wait, 
make the tubes a little bit happier. Uh, now we need to bring all of this water over. Uh, and this water, apparently? What's going on here? Oh, it's doing that thing. Okay. Can we hurry up and get that built, please? Oh, right. We've got a million ladder jobs that they're treating with equal priority. Not taking very long to build, though. Fantastic. We should have enough for the Paku to at least survive in that room. In a little bit. Get some ladders over here, so we can get rid of all the slime. Apparently we destroyed a tile here. Yeah, I might have to bump the priority on these. But first, we need this uh, heavy watt conductive wire build. Oh, we're bottleneck bottlenecked on the actual copper, which is waiting to cool down a bit. Current ambient temperature 627. Uh. Wait, what? Everywhere I look, the steam temp is like. The steam temp is low enough that we can't run the steam turbines. We've got. Conveyor rail at 120 degrees. The thermo sensor is at 120. Current ambient temperature 627 degrees? What? What was the reason they didn't build the fish traps? Too far away from the ladder, maybe? Um, I think they can reach it, otherwise it wouldn't be this shade of white. They're just not getting around to it yet. And I'm not going to bump it up until I'm sure that we've got enough water here. But I'm not sure what's going on with this copper. Copper at 176.2.1 degrees. It is dropping. But like... I don't understand how this sensor is saying that we're at 627 degrees. Very strange. Conveyor rail contents empty. What? Hold on, what? There's 
there's a gap where apparently the graphic seems to have some kind of container here. So that it should say that it's got copper on this tile. But it says conveyor rail empty. And we've got copper on either side of it. That's already down to... Hold on, this one says it's empty as well. Okay. I'm not sure how that happens. But, like... It would have... Surely it would have broken by now. Before this. If, when we get an empty tile like that, it says it's at 627 degrees. Why would it say 627? Very curious. Very strange indeed. I think I know why some of them are empty. I, I have a, I have an idea anyway. It looks like all of these conveyor rails are backed up. We've got this tile here that's exactly where the molten copper comes out. And I can only guess that the copper that's in this piece of conveyor rail gets melted and dropped down onto the ground. So then we've got an empty tile. Uh, we've got an empty piece of conveyor rail. But... I don't understand how... Like, we, we the last time we changed this was a long time ago. And we've seen copper making its way over here, this stream. So I don't know what's happening to allow this thermosensor to let some of the uh, let some of the copper through. Save and reload might reset the ambient temp. Hmm. There's nowhere else I can... Well, it doesn't really matter where else I put this. We have to avoid the path in front of this bit of the volcano. I think. So yeah, if I pulse this to allow some three, it's going to manage just fine. Until it finds some that's too hot. And then it's going to stop. Um, oh, it, it's happening right now. Let's find out. Conveyor rail contents, 20 kilograms of copper. That doesn't seem to be the issue. It, it's still holding on to 20 kilograms of copper. Yeah, that's really weird. We had some similar issue where this would occasionally get stuck before. And I think I heard it's common that, yeah, apparent, uh, unfortunately we've transferred a bunch of heat over to this area now. Although we've probably got more than enough to deal with it. We're not letting the copper out of the chute until it drops below... 30 degrees regardless. But, um... Like, maybe I should just add a cycle sensor or something to occasionally let a little bit through. Do we have... 
Cycle sensor. There we go. I could just put one here, I guess. Don't really have a good spot to fit it. Oh, this will do. All right, a bit of copper. Bit of copper. And I just want it to pulse through like just a little bit of conveyor rail every single cycle so that we can avoid this happening again. Do we allow dupes in there right now? We do not because we don't want them to pick up the really really hot copper to build things. Like they're doing that right now. Alright. Looks like that's done. Cycle sensor. We don't want to send a green signal all day. Um, that's pretty much the opposite of what we want to do. And... Just a little, just a little each day is what we're looking for. Just in case it gets stuck. Cool. Well, that's going to put a bunch of, uh, not that much, but a bit of heat into the base, but... Um, that will allow us to build some stuff. How much is this? 100 times like 14 or so. It's probably not enough. Yeah, so we're basically letting the copper th out of here as soon as it gets as cool as it's going to in the steam room. And then we just kind of let it equalize with the base um, and drop it out here once it gets down to 30 degrees. I could maybe drop it somewhere that's generally colder instead. Might be a good idea. Might also be a good idea to run it through these coolant pipes that are rather cool by the time they get up here. We are running them close to these radiant pipes. But maybe we could be a bit more aggressive about it. In fact, I could just have the drop-off right here. I kind of like the idea of keeping out iron, copper, and steel all in one place over this way, actually. I don't need a weight plate, though. Alright, so I want to fit a thermosensor and a shutoff and a chute. So t uh, two by two or four by one need to squeeze in here somewhere if possible. I could do it up here. But I kind of like the copper being close to the main bus. I'm thinking this spot would be better. Um, just looking for the automation wire. There we go. And then... 
little bit of power. Don't have to go far. Maybe a temp shift plate. Maybe that's overkill. Accelerates or buffers heat dispersal. Why was this made out of sandstone? Is that an accident? Regardless. Um, but yeah, I think I would like to have this stuff track exactly where the coolant pipes are. We should be able to cool it down a lot more aggressively this way. And in the end, we're equalizing the temperature with the base regardless. And this way we're not bringing it to where there's already a bunch of heat. There, please. And then come back this way. Stat up. Fantastic. Damage overheated. Oh, it's this thing again should probably deconstruct that so we don't have to hear that that's getting overheated. And have we not connected this? Why is the conveyor not going this way? I also want to copy that 30 degrees. Is this not connected? Oh, it doesn't have power. Priority... yes. Definitely take some gold amalgam. Maybe I should have taken the poker shell, but actually we'll get those with time. Regardless. We have three Pintro eggs. Breeding pretty quickly. I think that's enough water for some Paku to survive. Assuming they can eat from the... Oh, hello. Um, Why are we not grabbing them? Fish release. Max priority. Aaron's Buvim. Task number 50? Why is Buvim the only one? Okay, here we go. Is, is anyone going to do this? Or are we just going to waste our plastic? What if I set it to top priority? And there we go. Just wait till they deliver it. I'll just wait till they deliver it. Not sure what they're doing with this top priority job. But it says no pending deliveries. There are no Paco in here, though. 
What? I haven't made any other fish releases. Where did they take them? Where did they take those fish? I would really like to know. Um... Okay. I, I guess we'll try again. And pay close attention this time. Fish trap. High priority. Boovim is supplying. And Boovim is building. Fish is trapped. Uh, we can't see errands for this, but we can see errands for this one. Relocate critter. Apparently there's four jobs for this now. I don't know how that be the case? No pending deliveries. Is it not close enough to the water yet? And if so, where the hell did they take the fish? It is a little frustrating watching them just leave this thing here that cost us plastic, which will eventually disappear. I really can't think of a single place they could have taken that fish. Did they drop them somewhere when the Atmo suit was taken? Oh god. He must be choking. Surely not. Just how many more blossom seeds are you going to put in here? Alright, let me drop the priority on the blossom seed thing. So there should be nothing else that they're trying to go into this room for. This thing's priority 9. Damsel current errand. Okay, damsel. Please bring us a fish. I'm begging you. Where, where are you going? Oh, okay. You picked up a fish. Walked over here and picked up a fish light. Your job is now store abyss light. So the fish just disappeared? What? The fish just disappeared. Like three seconds after we picked it up. Sure they picked them up instead of just releasing them out of the trap. Why would they do that? We could only see the errand via the fish release. You can't actually click on the fish trap um, to see a job for that. Uh, I need to cancel these jobs to make sure no one else is trying to go in here. Sea Moogle. Okay, okay, we've got the fish trap. Let's see the errand. Shmua 
maybe? No one's actually doing it yet. Damsel current errand. Okay, I'm going to ban this for everyone but Damsel. Okay. Errands. Damsel. Current errand. Perfect. And apparently she's got four relocate critter jobs somehow. Okay, pick up the fish. Carry the fish. Haku times one. Still carrying the fish. Did we get there? Did it finally happen? We finally moved one Paku. It only took all day. Okay. I don't know if we need two of them to breed. I don't think so. But let's try doing that one more time. Fish trap. And I'm going to keep it so that only Damsel can go in there. That is a very lively emote. What about those Paku eggs? Um, I guess technically we could grab them and drop them in here. This is fine though. Except I think we do... Okay, yes, we have two Paku in here. Fantastic. Uh, I think we do need... more polluted water before they can eat from this. Um, I was going to say it is coming in, though, but it just stopped. Alright, we need to dig up here. And then... Um, we can try dropping off the pack of eggs here as well. Did we get our new copper thing built? No. Still. Is this made of copper? It's made of lead. Let's decon that. And... Make this bit out of lead. Also, the conveyor rail, weirdly enough, is not going to drop off here. Um, I guess I could... No. Oh, I think I just need to disconnect it from this. Oh, I did do that. Why isn't it going back this way? I guess we could just decon it. That's going to give us a bunch of copper. And remove this old thing. This old thing. This old thing. And this. Did we get the Paku eggs? Not even close. Alright, they're not going to starve before we get the water, right? stats on that. I 
I guess we can't see it until they're starving. Alright. Critter egg. Baku egg. Uh, fry egg. There we go. And high priority. And we'll just decon that after we get some eggs in there. Someone gonna rescue that? Did he drop that? Oh, he probably dropped it because of the airlock door thing again. At least we're getting that copper delivered. Is this thing working? Looks like it is. And look how look how much quicker the temperature is dropping get the copper down to 30. That's much better. Contents, none. Um, how about... Well, whoever I catch trying to sweep this next time. make it so that only they're allowed to go through that door. How's our space thing looking? Um, uh, still don't have this one. We need 350 kilos of steel. How's our poker shell? We've got three eggs incubating. Can't really see how incubated they are because I click on all three of them. It says 26%. I wonder if they're getting like combined. All right, so I'm going to pick this up. Good job, Ragnar. Oh no, Boovim's already in there. He's going to drop it instantly, isn't he? Yep. That is so stupid. Try again. Uh, we're going to only let Ragnar in. And we're going to sweep eggs. And Ragnar is going to do that. Fantastic. Good job, Ragnar. You're the only one who can accomplish this extremely simple task. And do it one more time, perhaps? gonna deliver there we go no what do you that's damsel keeps going red and then not because Ragnar was doing something else in here Ragnar please pick up the egg I'm begging you. Yes. We got there eventually. Uh, 
All right, now deconstruct these, and everyone can go through this door. And that should drop a couple of uh, three Paku eggs into our Paku pool, which should have enough for them to feed, I imagine, pretty soon. Yep, there's our eggs. Incubation, 10%. Cool. So even if these ones died, we'd probably be okay. But uh, we don't want that to happen regardless. Growth halted body temperature. Surprisingly warm over here. All right, what do we have here? Still 350 steel to go. I don't suppose we can get any more poker shells. Pretty sure that was the only one on the map as far as we know. Oh, here's one. How about we go say hello? Ooh, that one's red. No, that's just a regular poker shell. Apparently. I've got a bunch of poker shell malt here to be collected as well. Do we have to submit the bioscan on the other side of this? Probably. Carbon dioxide vent. Still haven't figured out a way to take advantage of that. Alright. Apart from sand shenanigans, that should give us access to all that poker shell. And we'll ranch these two as well. Found another something. our Paku should now be able to feed themselves, I think. This tile does say it has polluted water. Nice. Now, we need to set up putting polluted water back into the system. Uh, when we gain polluted water over here. Um, I also want to make sure tropical fry egg. Was it the tropical ones or there was a type of paku that um, that created clean water from polluted, and it was actually a problem because of the way we had things set up last time. Gulpfish? I don't think so. Does it tell you here? Please tell me that. Excuse me. Please tell me it tells us which one of these fish do that. Uh, 
Apparently not. Gulpfish? I don't remember seeing a gulpfish last time, but maybe that was it. Maybe I should just take away any egg that isn't the regular paku. Fry egg. So which, which ones are the other fish, though? There's fry egg, tropical fry egg, uh, gulp fry egg. That'll do it. I think the tropical ones just prefer hotter temperatures. Um, and that's not actually a problem. Of course, turning polluted water clean could be considered a good thing, usually. But not in this room. If I were to put this here, and then one, two, three, we can fit a pump exactly here. It's perfect. Uh, let's see, water, liquid pump... Right about there. Except the dupes won't be able to hop over from here to here. Um, alternatively, I could just put it here and have a bit of automation so that we don't take unless the water is getting a bit more full. Like, full enough to start uh, drowning these machines. Perhaps. I don't think we're going to need more than two natural gas generators this time. So I could probably actually, if I'm going to circuit manage it, uh, I could actually just put the pump at the bottom. Might be a better idea. And I guess we'll borrow this pipe. We're not really using this one anymore, are we? Not getting any more polluted water from up here. Not really. We can just mop this. Let's decon all of that. Where does this go? Oh, that's an old one as well. Which means we don't need this bridge here anymore. And that can actually go that way. And this can go here. Wait, that's wrong. Alright. Gonna get rid of that bridge, turn it around, and we're gonna put polluted water back into the system. If and when... well not if, it'll eventually, since we're pro producing polluted water from natural gas, uh, it'll eventually fill up. We're going to put any excess in... back in the main system. Okay. So this goes here. Um, is the polluted water going to be able to go both ways? Oh, it's coming up from here. Still. Surprisingly. I 
guess I could cut this away. But then we're going to end up with salt water mixed in. I'll worry about that later. Printing time. Um, cooking, farming, ranching. We'll just take the fertilizer. Oh, it's steel time. Fantastic. And did we wrangle these guys? We did not yet. There's also a couple of poker shells over here. Set those to wrangle as well, I guess. Actually, it depends how many we've got already. The poker shell spawn are very, very cute. Giant eyes, bouncy movement. What more could you ask for? That's a lot of CO2 in this area, actually. Um, let's see if we can fix that. Crabby, indeed. Oh hey, we got our power thing built as well. Alright, a bit of copy down here. And... Uh, this pipe is going to go over here. This should probably be not connected. And it looks like polluted water can't find its way back down this way. So we'll want to do... Preferably the same number of tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if we put that bridge there, it should be a 50 50 for polluted water to go here and then to here. Alternatively, maybe I want that to be a high priority, actually, to make sure we can make fertilizer. But it's already set up that way, and it's not even just finding its way down there. Um, so yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if I put that there, it should split 50-50. Or the stuff that's recycled from the bathrooms. Oh, I did have a reservoir of blue water here. Maybe that's not the worst idea. Maybe because of the bridge down there? The bridge is going in the right direction. This one is going up from below as well, though. Um, but yeah, that does solve the issue. Oh, and hey, we're making some fertilizer. Which means we're getting natural gas in this room already. That seems like a lot of polluted oxygen. 4.8 kilograms in one tile? What? Um, I might want to get some of this oxygen out of here. To make room for the natural gas that's going to come in. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. We need some smarts on this. Okay, so I want... Uh, to detect... Not liquid pipe. 
Hydro sensor. I could put it here. Basically, if Hydro gets higher than these four tiles, we'll pump away some water. I could put it way over here just to not be getting rid of one bit of ladder, but I don't think that's quite worth the trouble. Fantastic. Hydro sensor automation wire. Very simple. And I picked the wrong tile for where the fertilizer would drop here. Alright, that's made of lead. Let's copy that. They won't have to go far for the materials. And we can automation wire just like this. Basically, we'll produce fertilizer as long as there isn't any sitting on this touch plate. Or maybe I could go up to two kilograms of fertilizer. Um, or two tons, even. That seems like a lot, though. Uh, green signal if below 10. And... Kind of want this built quickly, please. I think he was already doing it. Fantastic. Alright, how much fertilizer is this? 10 kilo. That's one recipe, I think. But as, how much fertilizer does it actually use when we do this? I wish I could see some stats on our throughput of fertilizer. Can we do that? Probably not. Mm, I don't think so. Let's just say go until we have a hundred kilos of fertilizer. And that should probably be enough to make sure we have some at all times. How much do we have right now? Fertilizer? 7.2 tons. Uh, okay. I don't know where we've been getting it from. Whereby we still haven't had to produce it delibri uh, deliberately at all. But... How have we not... Oh, I see. I forgot about this extra AETN. That'd be a pretty big hassle to use or to add to our cooling loop. Really, the first ATN is the biggest deal because we can get a cooling loop happening before we've got steam turbines, even if it's not that strong. Looks like our new copper cooling system is working very well. What is that? Apparently that's sand? Or is it table salt? Fabricate operating... Can't see what's going on here. Okay. 
there's our little Paku. And I don't see the big Paku. Maybe it died. But uh, we've got Rotten Paku Fillet. I guess it did die. Are they able to eat from this? Or did they die of old age? We've got four Paku, so the one that was alive, or the two that were alive, laid an egg at least. Alright, seems to be chugging along. Oh, and I need to connect this as well. Not that I think we'll need both of these yet. Or at this rate ever. Alright, we have a bunch of natural gas in here. Um, I think I should just suck all of the air out and send it up here and filter it for the moment, until we get a vacuum in that room. And I need to do something about these pipes here. We could do our oxygen this way. Get rid of this bridge. Snip that pipe. And put a bridge here. And then... We can have our natural gas come up this way, I guess. What a pipe mess? I guess. I've done my best to keep it as neat as I can. Is all of that going to be reachable? I think it is. Alright, let's get that oxygen out. And bridge like so. And then start pumping natural gas into this. But I should put a filter up here somewhere. Probably be for the best. Gas filter. I could steal this one, but that's a bit far out of the way. Um, I want natural gas to go one way. Why can't I put it here? Oh, there we go. Natural gas to go one way, and everything else over here. And we can probably get rid of this mess at this stage. Is bothering me. But I need another bridge. And that thing is going to need a little power. Fertilization. Need slime. Are we out of slime? Nope, not even close. Hmm. Let's 
let's keep expanding our bunker doors. And we can actually start building our solar system one day. Set the filter? Uh, for which? Oh yeah, true, true, true. I forget that sometimes because I have to wait for it. Uh, filter is natural gas. And let's get that one piece of wire built. Fantastic, indeed. What are we printing? Operating, suit wearing, researching. Suit wearing, researching. That sounds like a good astronaut. Decreased decor. Ooh, yuck. Make the dupes even more cranky about their surroundings. Um, operating, suit wearing, digging? Decreased germ resistance? No, oh, thank you. Take some water. Like the salt water pylon down there? Oh, this thing? This monument to physics? There's actually water in this tile. So we've actually got salt water, polluted water, water. Glorious. Is that what I think it is? An eggshell? Gimme gimme. And I think we're ready to connect this now. Uh, normally I wouldn't be using a mini gas pump for this, but... I think over time... Oh, we haven't analyzed this yet? Wait, I do have a gas pump here. What was this going to be? Oh, I see. That's a good idea, even if I say so. We take in natural gas. We pump it... Uh... Some of this isn't finished yet, but we pump it in a loop and we let it out of the loop when it's cool enough. We transfer the heat to a steam room and run a steam turbine. That way the natural gas that we're sending to the base isn't at 150 degrees. But before we do that, I need to clean up this mess of multiple um, multiple gases. I want to get a vacuum in here. Maybe a mini gas pump is not the best way to go about that in the corner. 8.9 kilos over here. It depends how often the geyser is going to erupt. But I should probably just go to the trouble, even though I'll have to deconstruct it, of putting a regular gas pump down here. It's fine. It might not be fine if it takes long enough to empty this between the... Uh, the geyser eruptions. Alright, looks like we've got this. Wait, I need the automation wire. Uh, if above zero water detected, go ahead and switch pump on. Why is it... Oh, it already had a little bit in it. Fantastic, that's what I want to see. We're also getting some polluted water added courtesy of the natural gas generator. Um, how much does it give us? 
It takes in 90 per second and outputs more than two-thirds of it as polluted water, actually. Hmm. I didn't realize natural gas was that big of a source of, of water. That just makes it all the more attractive as a power source. Hi there, when I read New Base, I came in expecting Factorio. That's tomorrow, Rayclaw. And no, I won't be starting a new base in Factorio for a while, since we're doing Space Exploration K2. Although things are starting to speed up a bit, because we've got the space elevator and most of the resources that we need for now being brought up by the space elevator. Looks like our Paku are doing just fine. They only live to 25 cycles. Let's mop up this as well. And I want to get rid of this whole slime biome, actually. Let's start digging it up. blueprint thing didn't crash the game earlier. I'd love to copy paste the uh, just enough ladders um, to get this to work. That should probably be enough, right? Might be able to dig that out without help. Maybe. Not gonna trust it. Oh, we're actually bottlenecked on consuming the natural gas. I mean, yeah, the gas generators don't consume that quickly. And this will come in bursts, and it's built up 7.1 kilos per tile of pressure. So there is that. Do we have nothing but natural gas in this room? We do not. I guess we'll just keep going until we get vacuum. Uh, active period. Oh, don't tell me you're like 99% done on the analysis. Bruh. Let's put in a little automation signal. Notifier. I want to know as soon as we have vacuum. And we'll need... Oh, perfect. Good timing. We'll need a Atmo sensor right about here. And we'll wait to see when that is... This will never be hot enough to flash to steam, so I guess I just don't have to worry about it, actually. That CO2 is not draining out of here the way I imagined it would. I guess I could just pump it out. It's 
not that difficult a project at this point. Not like that. And we'll grab a little power. And a little condition gas element sensor. Detecting CO2. Little sleep snot bubble. Uh, no wonder they haven't built this pipe. They can't reach it. All right, let's just this here. How's our copper doing? Copper's looking really good. We don't have a massive queue. Once it comes out of this room, that is. time again. Um, sure, whatever. Pinch of pepper seed number 40. Alright, did we finally get this cleaned up? Looks like it. We're down to only 7 kilograms per tile of natural gas in here now. I think the mini gas pump could have kept up, actually, at this rate. What is going on here? Overheat. Gas shut off. It's made out of lead. Let's get that deconstructed. Please build the pipe. Or not, I guess. Let's build another one of these. And like so. Fantastic. Maybe we should have a... I was going to say maybe we should have a gas reservoir, but it's really quite pathetic the amount that you can store in a reservoir. What we can do instead is pump natural gas in here through a high-pressure vent. Um, and probably only after it doesn't get consumed by the natural gas generators. And then have a pump to take it back in, I guess. I do want to get rid of this 7 kilos per tile of polluted oxygen in here, though. Hmm. Can I fit a deodorizer here? Nope. But we could put it here. I could just uh, clean the air and let it out when there's oxygen. I guess there's also a little teeny bit of hydrogen for some reason. So CO2 is getting sent to the Shadow Realm. 
We're going to be producing polluted water, which is going to give us polluted oxygen. Um, wasn't there something else that I might do in this room? Or was it just the natural gas and fertilizer? Polymer press, I don't think we're going to bother with. It does produce CO2, that would just go to the same output pipe. Um, but that's everything under refinement. Oil refinery outputs natural gas, I would send it up here. Process that way down below, I think. Algae distiller outputs polluted water and makes algae. Are we going to use anything? Uh, it consumes slime. I think I actually want to make sure I have slime. What does algae get used for? Other than the basic oxygen diffuser. Algae terrarium. Takes in algae, water, CO2. Huh. Takes in algae and water. Consumes algae to produce oxygen and remove some CO2. The water comes back polluted. We get a little bit of oxygen. And I think that's meant to say negative carbon dioxide. Doesn't that mean we need carbon dioxide in the room for that to do anything? Ethanol distillery outputs CO2 polluted dirt. And ethanol takes in lumber. What's ethanol good for again? Ethanol... What? Ethanol liquid. Or is it gas? Uh, it's good for nosh sprout. And apparently nothing else. But if I were... To do ethanol, would I do it in this room? Lumber in, power in, ethanol out, polluted dirt out, carbon dioxide out. Does the CO2 have a gas output? It does not. It just vomits it into the room. Oh wait, no it does. That is, that is a gas output, isn't it? Oh no, it's a liquid output. So I guess it'll drop polluted dirt on the floor in a room where we're already going to be picking up polluted dirt. And... The CO2 would be a little bit of a nuisance. But I guess we would probably already have a filtered gas input, if we're going to store natural gas in here without using, like by high pressure as opposed to using the gas reservoirs. worth thinking about. Uh, 
think it's probably worth doing. I do want to try growing every type of plant this time. Isn't there a ethanol cow plant as well? Petroleum or ethanol into electrical power. So this is a wood burner with extra steps if we do this. Um, but maybe it's more efficient. I mean, it would be hard not to be more efficient than the wood burner. 1,200 grams per second for 300 watts. Ethanol distiller, 1,000 grams per second. Half as much comes out as ethanol. Okay. And then... Combustible liquid, 2,000 grams per second. And we get 2 kilowatts. Okay, so 1 watt per gram. As opposed to quarter of that. And it produces a ton of heat. Um, we do of course get polluted water back from the petroleum generator. Does it drop it on the ground? If so, we should put it in here. That's a lot of heat. That's probably proportionally a lot less heat than the wood burner. Let's have a look. We've got a liquid input and no liquid or gas. We've, we've got no liquid output. We've got no gas input or output. So the CO2 and polluted water are just dropped into the environment. Um, I think we need two of these to keep up with one of these. And that would cost 480 watts and give us 2,000 watts. So it's like net 15... 20 watts. That's pretty good, actually. Are we really going to consume, or rather produce consistently, a thousand grams of lumber per second, though? A kilogram of lumber per second? I doubt it, but it would probably be a good backup power system. Probably a very good backup power system, actually. What if we store some ethanol in a reservoir here? That's interesting. Oh, you can put it up in the sky? No, nope, never mind. I don't suppose this actually works then. Nope, this title would have to be here. I haven't decided where I want to put the gas pump, either. I could always put some... gas reservoirs down here, actually. It's not the worst idea. We could probably still have a gas pump and filter up here. So, petroleum generator. Let's maybe put a couple next to each other. That's not going to work, is it? 
And as I move over this deodorizer somewhere else. How am I going to do the smarts on this? I'm probably going to need a battery. Or I could read from one of the batteries we already have if I, if I run a wire a long way. Might not be the worst idea. Oh, we've got one right here, actually. Yeah, that's connected to the main network. We can read from this one. It's already reading a hundred zero. Oh, we're not reading from it at all, so we can set this to whatever we want. Very convenient. Alright, let's run some power over here and over here. Um, we're going to want ethanol input output just like this but I think I would like at least one oh it's going to be a liquid reservoir isn't it which means we could do this a lot more densely where do I want to put this though If I have the gas pump, it depends on where the layers are going to end up. Or maybe I just want to expel everything that isn't natural gas. So if we put a pump like here, I might want to make those mesh tiles if I do. But regardless, if we put a gas pump somewhere like this, and then we have a filter, and we want to pick out the natural gas, Ericia Gaming. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I want to send the natural gas straight back to the natural gas machines, the generators. It's a little bit of a waste of electricity, but... If we go past the natural gas generators, output to the room with high pressure, we can store natural gas in the room. We suck in gas. We send natural gas back to the generators. We can set some condition on the gas pump, I guess. Like, it has to detect natural gas. And then... We send everything else out to the void. Everything else being carbon dioxide. Um, carbon dioxide. Yeah, it's literally just going to be natural gas and carbon dioxide. Oh, and there's going to be polluted oxygen because the polluted water is going to be outputting. Um, it's going to be off-gassing, that is. If I put a layer of water on top of the polluted water, and we only suck in water when water pressure reaches this tile, we should avoid... We, we should be able to guarantee that this is always polluted water. Without an extra filter. So, if we have the natural water on the top, 
then we can suck out every gas other than natural gas and send it to space. Before we do that, I would like to clean and remove this rather large amount of polluted oxygen though. Or I could just pump it to somewhere where we have uh, deodorizers already, if there is such a place. Or we could just make one. I think we should do that for the moment. So we're just going to output all of it. Oh wait, that's going to output uh, natural gas already. Let's run it through the filter first. Uh, that's not quite right. How about this? And and we want to send natural gas straight back to our generators. Hello, did you check how much of what gas each machine makes? Uh, it's not that much for the side outputs. 166 grams of carbon dioxide, 22 grams of carbon dioxide, uh, 500 grams a second, wow. But we'll only be running these as a backup, and we can't sustain that kind of speed. So that should probably be okay. Let's bump up the priority of the pipes. Do we need something special to make this? No. Probably a good idea to make this mesh tile. Are we getting all of the polluted? Let me guess, awaiting delivery. There we go. Fantastic. Just a little bit more. help if we had the gas pump built. I guess that'll have to wait. Still, it's coming together, looking pretty neat much more elegant solution compared to what we had last time with the um, 
trying to do a smart storage to control the fertilizer synthesizer. Now, if we could just get this built today, that would be very good. How's our copper looking? Uh, for some reason, there's 389 kilos sitting right here, but not here. It's kind of strange. Uh, but yeah, I'm quite happy with how quickly the copper here is dropping temperature. We should be seeing this pile of copper getting smaller over time. 2.4 tons. And next dormancy isn't for a while though. Where's he going? I'm oh, just picking up the polluted dirt. Okay. Can we get this built though? You know, this thing that I put on max priority? That'd be nice. Fantastic. Good job, Evil Plot. I probably put, should have put another Atmo dock here, at least while we're building all of this. But we really are almost done. You may want to add the automation early. This is true. Uh, which automation are we talking about, though? Oh, the, um, uh, the petroleum generators, or rather the ethanol generators. I believe we need a not gate. No, wait. Uh, for a generator, it's not going to need a not gate. Supplying operating building. That's a great combo. Mouth breather. We can kind of afford a mouth breather, but the principle of the thing. Supplying operating building, though, and hard digging, I guess. Doesn't operating lead to... Yeah, it does. That That's too good to pass up. We're late in the game enough that a mouth breather isn't really a problem. Let's take Lindsay. And we'll have to make another bed. Um, I could expand the beds down here, I guess. Oh, that's right. Because of where the... Because of where the bristle blossoms are, I was thinking about having Paku here, but this worked out pretty well as well. It's just a slightly longer walk to bring the bristle blossom seeds over for the Paku food. I can live with that. But I don't think... Hmm. Well, I was going to say I don't think I'm going to put more plants over here, but maybe that's a lie? We only need one more. We only need one more room right now. So we can probably just go with this. Also, why is there polluted oxygen here? Let's get another airy pot.
Let's make sure that gets done before sleepy time. Oh no. Oh no. Someone's sleeping on the floor tonight. Okay, schedule, Lindsay, or priorities rather. We're gonna want you on. Um, operating, building, and supplying. And digging a little bit. Storing. Tidying. That seems pretty good. And we did end up with a little polluted oxygen here. Maybe we can get that cleaned up. Right then. How is this still not built? Uh, at least we got the gas thing going. Actually, isn't the gas going to find its way down this way? Okay, stop. Stop. That's all oxygen now. Except for this bit. Turn that into regular tile. Beautiful. And... Uh... Is this getting worse? Probably shouldn't have done that. I'll just put an individual deodorizer in this room for the moment. Oh wait, that won't do. Okay. Polluted oxygen, 8.3 kilograms. That's a lot. I dare say we'll have more oxygen than we need for a little while. Oh, and I forgot to make this little shortcut. Although that'll stop them from using oxygen masks to come into this area, actually. All right. Let's add our little automation down here. And we're going to set this to... Um, don't activate unless battery gets emptied. Stop when battery is full. That seems okay to me for an emergency uh, power consumer or power producer. I also haven't done the input for the ethanol yet. What's our input? Lumber and... Oh, it outputs... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Well, if we're only going to have one of these and we've got two of these, we'd actually need four to two... Uh, one to two for the ratio. Or rather, two to one. So we definitely have to have a storage. Um, I guess I could put 
a liquid reservoir here for these two. Wait, if this consumes 2,000 grams per second, doesn't that mean we need multiple pipes to keep up with it? Uh, it, a pipe can do 10 kilograms per second, right? So that'll be fine, actually. That should be okay. And we'll snip this so it doesn't start until we're sure we're ready. Okay. Can't help but notice that liquid vent is full. Um, we could probably go ahead and do this. Get rid of that last little bit of polluted water. And it looks like we've cleared away this slime biome. Very nice. Very nice indeed. There's a little bit left here because we can't reach it. Okay, it really is taking a shockingly long time to build this stuff. Let's may uh, let's add another Atmo suit dock, even if it's going to be temporary. How's our space doing? Looking pretty good, actually. We'll have enough to do one module of solar panels. Enough space, that is, without the meteors landing on it in no time. We get rid of this polluted oxygen. Fantastic. Let's tidy this mess up as well. Apparently there's no storage for fertilizer and fertilizer. Hmm. I guess not. Research focus selected. You don't say. We need the interstellar research. So there's only one type of rocket we can build at first. And it looks like... Only one type of module other than the command capsule. Well, that makes it easy for now. So, if we get research out of this, what does the uh, telescope... Oh, this is for finding missions. And virtual planetarium, 
data bank one unit per research point. Consumes data from telescopes and research modules? Conducts interstellar research to unlock new technologies. So it's a three-step process, telescope, mission, and then virtual planetarium. I'm guessing. This one doesn't actually have to be exposed to space, does it? Why would a virtual planetarium? Yeah, it's just the telescope. That makes it a bit easier. 500 kilo of plastic. Everyone else has only got two interests. No gas gen automation? What do you mean by that? And why are these not getting built ever? Uh, wait, what? What? Oh no. Freaking gas filter. I despise that you have to wait till this is physically built to put the uh, filter on it. I could... It looks like we've already sent some natural gas through here. Uh, what's another 50 grams? Okay, what are we down to? 5.5 kilograms per tile. And then... Uh, this gas pump is not having a good time. What's it made out of? Copper. Well, there's your problem. We have to be able to deal with 150 degrees. 75 plus 50 is only 125. I guess this is going to have to be steel. We don't need a liquid pump in here anymore, I'm pretty sure. Or down here, for that matter. Although, we'll probably be needing these wires. Uh, let's see. Gas pump. Steel. At least it only costs 50. And we needed a gas shutoff. That is also going to need to be made out of steel. Goes here, I believe. So the idea was take in natural gas. Um, I think this is backward, actually. Take in natural gas, send it to thermoregulators, uh, cool it down, loop it through, check the temperature, and yeah, no, this is, this is right. Um, if the temperature is low enough, we're going to export it. And if the temperature is still high, we're going to loop it back around. And it should take priority over what comes through this gas bridge. That seems fine. Uh, this gas pump is also crying. Let's just deconstruct that one. And we'll use the one that we're going to build anyway. Um... didn't set up the automation here. I want to know when there is zero pressure. Uh, vacuum.
pause and zoom. Okay, is there anything else made of something that's going to overheat in here? Thermo regulator, perhaps. That seems to already be made out of steel. Fantastic. I'm going to have to get some water in here. Or the steam turbine. The filters in Oni is like connection unloaders to LTN in fact. Victoria? Connection unloaders? Don't know if I understand. And this will go here. Uh, and for the moment, we'll just... Wait, how much power is going to be on this? 240, 240, 240... Um... That should be less than 2,000. We'll have up to 360 from the airlock doors, but realistically they're not all working at the same time. Also, this heavy watt wire here needs to be moved. Um, but yeah. 247... 720? And how much is this? Like 10 watts? Practically nothing. Yeah, it should be fine. Also, since we're no longer immersed in water here, and that's definitely not happening again, we can go ahead and get rid of this extra power transformer which is taking a suspiciously long time to drain over the energy that it's got I guess it's all draining from this one first just like the same way fluids work with the bridging and stuff. Yep, there it goes. It's kind of weird. Interesting. Did we make this out of steel? Yes, we did. And I think we do connect this. And we're definitely not going to power these things just yet. But we'll set it up so that we can do that when we feel like it. We're actually down to three and a half kilograms. Depending on where you look. We will get a vacuum in here eventually. Oh, we still have the the mini gas pump that could chugging away. We do it very often, but keep forgetting to connect, indeed. Oh, with the uh, Factorio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very easy to forget because the... Um, the copy-paste with the uh, bulk rail unloader mod can be a bit weird with the wires. So, we're finally at the point... Oh, never mind. I was going to say we're finally at the point where we're bottlenecking on the actual gas coming through, but that's because it's just a mini gas pump. Yeah, no, the uh, the airlocks are going to have to wait 
till we get that sweet, sweet. Vacuum. Get rid of this mess though. I think Damsel's stuck because Sheep Say Mare is standing in the airlock, keeping it open. Yep, looks like that's how that works. Alright, there we go. So then, what's wrong with this? Oh, it doesn't have automation? That should be fine. Actually, lead should be fine, and there should be a bit of lead lying around. Um, prior, yes. Sorry, English is not my first language, no worries. As you may have noticed, I didn't. Although D host is a little bit of a a little bit of a hint, I suppose. I did learn a little bit of Deutsch um, back in primary school, but didn't get that far. Okay, we're going to have to have a bridge here, for obvious reasons. Just so it's a one-way piece of pipe. Um, but yeah, at the moment we're just putting the gas through unconditionally, because we want to get rid of it. So we'll keep that up until we have vacuum. Um, analysis complete, erupts in 0.3 cycles. Next dormancy, 5.6 cycles. Shouldn't be too much longer before we get a vacuum here, and then we can finally finish this build properly. Looks like we haven't had a problem with things breaking since we built our little wall here. We also haven't had any trouble with um, igneous rock appearing as a tile. I think that's because we're not dropping water on it. Seems good. What are you up to? Picking up water. Fair enough. I suppose. Damsel is... Ranching supply? What are you carrying? Uh, where do I see what she's carrying? Carried items, none. What are you doing here? Damsel? I, I literally can't see a single reason why you would be in this area. Unless you were picking something up, which you're not. Did you learn German in elementary school? Interesting. I did indeed. The last word I remember uh, learning was Das Bucherregal. And one of the more memorable words was Raus. Das Bucherregal? Is that not a bookcase? Kyung, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Actually, let's do it this way. Whoops. That should be enough to clear out all the slime and stuff, right? 
For an English speaker, your German is pretty good. Danke. I do try when I learn a language to actually pronounce things correctly insofar as I'm able. Fantastic big brain? <laughs> Not really. Alright, we're down to two kilograms of natural gas per tile. Um, it's gonna have to wait till 4.8 cycles, I think, though, before we get our vacuum. Can't imagine what we're gonna do with chlorine gas at 60 degrees, though. Um, suit wearing, researching, doctoring, digging, suit wearing, operating. I think we'll pass. We'll take a shine nymph. Why not? There's our petroleum generators. And we've got a bunch of ethanol already. Let's check our... Oh, right. I have to let them through this door again. What the hell is this? Why is there liquid lead in this room? Oh god. Oh no. Um, What's broken? Probably wire? And our steel battery? Oh no. Oh no. Uh... That is a hazard of having lead in here that I didn't think of. Uh, what's this made out of? Copper? What was made out of lead in here still? I think just this little bit of wire? That was probably all of it? Panic, indeed. Um, alright, I guess we'll... Replace that with copper. And what's this made out of? It's also steel. Well, I'm not letting them in to that room now. Not until things quite literally cool off a bit. Um, how long until this thing goes dormant? 50 cycles? Uh, they are going to go in with Atmo suits, so they should be okay, actually. So what? Where's our gas? I think it's everywhere that the liquid isn't. Steam is rather hot. It's too hot for the steam turbines, actually. Um, we now need active cooling to get the steam turbines working again. Uh, I could borrow crude oil through here, but then I'd have to reshape the pipes. We could borrow the gas pipe coolant that we've already got. Except... Run it through like this. Priority construction. Go. What a mess. How did this take this... How did this take this long to happen? Is what I would like to know. 
Maybe it's because I added some lead stuff over here at some point, like this plate, uh, this stream. I don't suppose we could mop up the lead. We technically can. Um. I don't know how well that's going to work. We did cool... We did somehow cool this uh, steam turbine down. Enough to run at full capacity. I don't know how we already cooled this thing down enough to work, but I'll take it. Evil Pla is stuck. Because... Why? Can he move through this? Yes, he can. Uh, is it because there's no power to the airlock? It's still got a couple of charges. He should be able to leave. Yeah, he can leave. And I just wasted, like, the last... The second last charge on this thing to make that happen. I'll have to add a temporary power transformer over here. He's still acting like he's stuck? Oh, I see. Oh, it's this one that says it's not powered. Even though it's... the graphic shows that there's still one charge? Can we even... I think we can fix it from the outside. I'm trying to... there we go. Yeah, I think we can fix it from the outside. I need you to do more than that. See, Moogle is on the case. There we go. Alright. Yeah, I'm really curious as to how this managed to happen, actually. Fresh materials for the pipes cooled it? Fresh materials for the pipes... Oh, when they placed them before they even built anything? Really? Fascinating. Well, they're barely doing anything at the moment. We're obviously going to need more than that. What's the melting point of copper? Um, it is... Wait, what? That's lead. Copper... Liquid... Uh, 1,083 degrees. Okay. I'm really surprised to see the steam turbine going maximum efficiency. Um before we've even got this cooling loop going in, even if it is just briefly. Lindsay is looking very, very slow. But uh, she'll get there. I think we should put her on nothing but operating For the moment. She's actually got that as her high, highest priority already. She'll get there eventually.
Alright, they should be able to fix all this now. And there's our coolant for the steam turbines. Which means we'll be able to drop the temperature in this room a lot more quickly. Can we get that lead out of there? <laughs> that might be a good idea. In fact, why don't I just... Well, there's no storage room. I was going to say allow this thing to pick up lead. Alright, so we're obviously pumping a lot of heat into the base while we use that active cooling on top of the passive cooling for the steam turbines. Um, I probably want to stop doing that now-ish. Actually, I should cut that there. And that there, I guess. Deselecting materials in a loader empties its storage. Ah, uh, tree. The loader can't, the uh, sweeper can't reach all of the lead regardless, so we should probably just pick it up. There's still quite a high temperature in here. We should probably keep doing the active cooling. Maybe not as aggressively as we possibly could. So we don't cook the base. Yeah, this seems to be enough. I'm guessing we're short on steel, otherwise we would have repaired this by now. Is this it? Nope. We do have a little steel. Wait, we've got 830, that means we've... Unreachable? What? Oh, it's because of the sand stuff that got down there somehow. That's why we've accumulated that much steel. Although, it would really be nice if people would repair this already. It's making me a little anxious. Gonna repair it. Nope. Errands. Nothing. Disable auto repair. It is enabled. A waiting repair delivery steel 20 kilos. We've definitely got 20 kilos of steel. Hello, just joined. How much time to build such a base? I always fail my runs. Um, well, we're on cycle 488, but I would say like half of that or less, you could get to some kind of sustainability, more or less. Um, there's two... This is the second time I've built a long-lasting base. The first time what really carried me to the mid game and beyond was a cool salt slush geyser uh, which spat out salt water or rather brine at like i think it was negative 10 degrees celsius 
So I was able to use that to cool the base before I had steam turbines. Um, alternatively, there is anti-entropy thermo nullifiers, which don't require electricity. You just pump in a little bit of hydrogen and they delete a lot of heat. And the way I've set this up is we just loop the hydrogen. Uh, a little bit goes into the thermo nullifier, the rest comes back through a loop. We've got radiant pipes, and that comes back to loop through the base. Now that is not as effective, of course, as like thermo aqua tuners, but infinitely less cost effective. It doesn't cost any power at all. Uh, the other thing that you can bear in mind is if you pump all of your heat into a steam room, uh, if you build it with a decent size, with a decent amount of water, it actually takes an extremely long time. Uh, there's a huge thermal mass. Um, it takes a lot to heat up a big body of water. So if you don't have the technology yet to delete heat, you can just bank it for later. And really... More than anything else, I think, um, dealing with heat is, like, the thing that gets you past a certain point where you can start to just take your time and figure things out. In Cub Maddie, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. And TSZ as well. Um, what are we doing here? Duplicate skills, we've probably got quite a lot, but not that much spare morale. Not too worried about that right now, to be honest. That's amazing. Just got to learn it one thing at a time, which is a lot harder to do in this game than, for example, Factorio. Because in Factorio, no matter how complex it gets, unless you're playing it heavily modded and we're talking about Arcospheres, uh, you only really have to figure out one little piece at a time. But for something like getting steam turbines to work, there's so many little variables that you have to get right all at the same time um, before it finally works. We are creeping towards a vacuum in here, finally. And 1.3 cycles until it's dormant, so it really will not be long. Um, what is that? Clay? No, it's slime. Stop that off-gassing. Did you connect the battery inside Volcano Steam Room? Um, this one? Yes? Or are we talking about this? Oh yeah, I can get rid of this extra... Um, power transformer now. I put the power transformer and the battery in, in here just so that the heat that they produce could be recycled as electricity. Power isn't connected? Whereabouts? Do you mean in here? It's not supposed to be over here yet. Um, so what's going to happen here is... Once I empty all of this gas, I want to build airlock here, here, and here. So this area is going to be a vacuum which means it's going to be a lot harder for heat to escape. Why is this overheating? Wait, what even is overheating? Large power transformer damage overheating is made of lead. Okay then. Didn't realize it was made of lead. Let's make it out of copper. Um... Uh, 
Um, but yeah, basically we're going to turn all of this into a vacuum. We're going to have airlocks. This is going to be natural gas and nothing else. This is going to be steam and nothing else. And this can probably have some hydrogen in it. It doesn't really matter. As long as it... Uh, as long as it's conductive. Um, and what we're going to do is... Take in natural gas, run it through a loop, um, cool the natural gas, heat up the steam, run the turbine, and when the natural gas is below some temperature, we'll send it to our base so that we don't heat up the base with the natural gas. In the metal volcano ring. Uh... Yeah, I think we fixed it. This thing is just waiting on some steel for some reason. Um, even though we've got... Oh, it's gone. I guess that steel was reserved. Hey, we've already built seven bunker doors. Sleepy Dove? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Battery is empty where the lead melted. That doesn't surprise me too much. Uh, oh, hey, it's not connected. That would probably help. Alright, I'll use copper this time. How's our poker shells coming? Ooh, very good. Wait, we I'll just double check again. We don't have to shear them, right? They just shed the poker shells automatically. Leave behind after molting can be crushed into lime. Okay, cool. And are they happy or are they cramped? They are not cramped. There's four of them so far. Seems good. Uh, let's let's allow however many it takes before they get glum. Find out what that is. Is something off gassing here? Apparently not. No, it definitely is. Rock piles and stuff. There's our battery. Cool, so we should probably connect this ethanol. And once the battery hits 0%, we'll use some ethanol for power. Oh, it's not hitting 0. Probably for the best, I guess. All right. Um. Oh. 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 I think. I think we got an, got rid of enough of that polluted oxygen, probably. Um. Yeah, we might want to output everything else. To the void. Probably decom that now. That is a th thick bit of CO2. Three kilograms per tile. Oh yeah, I was going to put some regular water on top of this polluted water. Um, just so it doesn't off-gas. Where am I going to get the regular water? Probably from our water reserves? Would actually be easiest. And... 
really know where I want to output it. It's not really going to make a difference. I'm just going to have to keep an eye on it. It's going to be easier than... setting up a bit of automation to make this happen. Because I've already set it up so that this tile equals suck in polluted water. Have you considered some type of infinite storage for the nat gas? You can infinite storage gas? Can things explode in Oni? Uh, sort of. Probably. You can definitely see an explosion of steam when it uh, escapes at much higher pressure than the surrounding gas. TLC only, yes. That's terrifying. Lindsay is taking her sweet time and smiling ear to ear. Can we please get this pipe system finished? Nuclear reactor can explode, surely, though it's TLC. Can we please get this pipe finished? Good gravy. So I need to pay attention to it. And cut off cut off the water as soon as we've got a layer of regular water on the top. Don't know if they updated it, but you used to be able to trick gas vents with a small bit of water to force them to never be over pressure. How does that work? I would expect even a tiny bit of water would just prevent the gas vent from outputting. So we're just going to keep this water coming in until we get a layer of it across the whole top. Which I don't know how much that's going to take. And with the automation I've got set up, we're going to be pumping the polluted water out until this tile doesn't have water in it. Or I could set it up to be an element sensor to detect polluted water, and we could allow the regular water to come up to here, but I don't think I like that. RPHL, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Gas vents say overpressure at 2 kilograms, but don't say it has to be gas. Indeed. The pump started, is that intentionally? That's... it's fine. Um, I'm gonna have, like, basically polluted water here with a little bit of regular water on the top. Which means... I mean, this water is taking a surprisingly long time to spread out across the top of the polluted water, but other than that, everything's going to plan. Doop, 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 doop. Here we have 200 kilos of steel. Um, surely it doesn't take... We need 20 kilos for this to be repaired. People do have access. I set it to priority 9, and I see no one repairing it. I... I don't understand why. Let's have a look down here as well. We are down to the double digit grams of gas. Before we can finally... I mean, it doesn't help that this gas pump is just in the corner, way down here. The mini gas pump should be able to help, but the way gas packets work in this game, it can't. Because 
there isn't a single gap for it to add something in. Uh, but regardless, we're getting close to emptying this place. And there's no more natural gas coming in for 64 cycles. So that won't be difficult to sort out. Why is there oxygen getting thrown into space here? Because we're detecting CO2 here? Um, yes, that's relatively harmless right now. I don't love that. I guess I could filter oxygen back out. Ooh, what if I filter the oxygen out way up the top here? And then it will, like, fall down into the base. Can we put a gas filter here? And gas vent. Make it high pressure. We don't want the whole output thing to stop. Um, for the sake of... Slow oxygen output. Do I have to, like, deconstruct this and rebuild it in order to get this fixed? Like, what's going on? Still using those power-hungry filters for filtering? I try not to. That's why I was tolerating some oxygen getting pumped out, but it's, it's a lot more than I would have liked. Speaking of which, uh, where's our filter thing? Breathable gas, oxygen. And then that can go there. Oh, I suppose that can go there since we know that's not oxygen. Disable and enable that auto repair. Doesn't look like it's... Well, there you go. Good call, thank you. Nice. Um, and we'll stop with the... Wait, where is this going? Oh, I see. Uh, we'll stop with the um, active coolant loop, because we don't want to be distributing this heat across the rest of the base when we know the passive cooling can keep up. Errands for some things often bug out. That is unfortunate. Okay, why is it taking this much? Why is this much water up the top here? Like, how is it this slopey? Look at that. We got like 10 tiles of water and then 21 tiles of not water. It's the fish thing blocking it? Oh. I didn't realize. 
Let's deconstruct it. Fish dropper is a solid tile. Yeah, apparently. Oh, come on. Can you not drop something that you're halfway through for the bell? Like, really? Especially when you spend half your day walking. Are they glum yet from overpopulation? Nope. Alright, can we actually get this deconstructed this time? Oh wait, there's no need now. The water spilled over. Okay. We're gonna stop that. That's that's enough water. That is more than enough. Now that we've got our thin film of water across the whole thing. We'll just keep pumping out the polluted water until this is nice and flat. Chat is MVP, indeed. Uh, but yeah, that'll keep this from off-gassing. And... We're going to keep sucking out all this polluted oxygen and carbon dioxide. Send it to the void. Until we've got nothing but natural gas in this room. And I was thinking of... Where is this going? I was thinking of having natural gas output here with high pressure. So basically, if we've got natural gas coming in faster than our generators can or will consume it, um, then we'll start storing it in this room. I'm thinking about putting some logic on this gas pump. It'd be very handy if the natural gas was lighter than the other gases. Or maybe I should put the pump in a different position. No, I do want this pump to primarily be getting rid of the other gases that I don't want. Is the polluted water dropped by the natural gas things on top the clean water? What? The polluted water is going to be dropped into this pool. Um, and once this pump is caught up with the automation, basically we're trying to have zero liquid in this tile. Uh, so once that happens, we're going to have a layer of regular water here. Um and the rest is polluted water and when we drop polluted water in it's just going to drop through the water i think i think that's how that works so it will go through yeah yeah it's like uh like layers of gases they sort themselves out Speaking of gases, oh wow, there's still over a kilogram per tile in here, would have thought by now it would be getting a bit thinner. 
Nothing to worry about though, we do have uh, 62 cycles to sort this out. Let's get ready to put some hydrogen in this ring. And just a regular gas vent and disconnect this until we're good to go. So about that efficiency thing, running the nat gas gens non-stop doesn't seem very efficient. I'm going to add some, uh, some logic to that, potentially. But we've only got the one natural gas generator at this point. I mean, natural gas geyser. Uh, I don't know if we'll even find a second one on this asteroid. But I can definitely add some logic to them, just like I have with the other generators, where they don't keep going if a battery is full. Um, I guess I'll take some copper. And I was thinking about just using the same battery over here, but I kind of want two separate priority levels, and I can't have them react to different mounts um, off of the same battery. I could put another battery here, I guess. It's only 200 steel. That might be the way to go, actually. Uh, but yeah, basically I want... All the really renewable resources, like heat, um, solar power, etc. Power from the volcano. Uh, that happens automatically. Or, I mean, I don't think we'll ever have enough of it to worry about not overfilling a battery. Until we have lots of solar, and then I don't care if it overfills a battery. Um, but basically, once we drop down to like, I don't know, 30% battery charge, we can have the natural gas generators kick in. And if we drop down to zero, petroleum generators, coal generators, wood burners. We probably shouldn't even bother with the wood burners at this stage. I, I've never actually seen them running, though. How do they have no lumber? The dupes do have access to them. And we do have lumber. 10.8 tons on this tile. But they've never been supplied with lumber, as best as I, I can tell. Um, But I don't even want to use them at this point, because we've got lumber with extra steps, um, but far more efficient setup now. Uh, but yeah, basically, burning of finite resources, or sort of finite resources, for electrical power, I do have that set up to be a lower priority. I just hadn't bothered with it with the natural gas generators yet. The generators aren't supplied until they're enabled? Well, that's pretty dumb. What? What's the point of having an emergency generator if it's not supplied until it's supposed to switch on? Bruh. Also, I don't... Oh, I see. That battery was for the... The wood generators. I'll just double check that. I mean, I'm pretty sure that was it. Wood burner has an automation connection at the top. Yep. Seems a good... One sweeper arm can cover three coal gens and a storage bin at the same floor. Okay. 
So like how earlier this stream I noticed that the auto sweeper uh, would supply, for example, this obsidian. You're telling me it can actually supply the buildings the way I thought only dupes could? Okay, that's useful, to say the least. That means we can automate a lot more things than I thought we could. Rhea from Earth, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I am doing okay, thank you. A little bit sick, but I've been... I've been worse. Also, this logic with generators does not apply, for example, to incubators, as if game needs to be more confusing. Incubators. I've built, like, two incubators. I don't remember what you might be referring to. How much steel do we have? 510. I'd, ha I'd have 10 left if I made one more of these. But we're going to keep going. Little by little. Until we comfortably have room to plan out one module of that repeatable set of solar panels. Um, but yeah, I think I should put some steel battery right about here. Copper and automation wire i think we'll swap these around and we'll have that can't go through there though that is slightly annoying because i can't put a bridge on the spot I, I really wish you could put bridges where these connections are uh, but I guess I'll have to go around it. We'll connect this one here and use this one over here. And I'll set this one to trigger at like 30%. Although at this rate, it feels like ethanol is going to be a more plentiful resource. Maybe I should make more ethanol generators. I mean, we've already got a bad ratio here. If we wanted to do it continuously, we would need two distillers for one generator. Uh, that's a lot of space. Yeah, this isn't even enough for a one-to-one -one ratio. We need uh, 11, 11 by 4 tiles, because this is taller. Should I assume you aren't interested in what I, what I typed about Gas Guys' setup? I probably just missed it, sorry. Distillers can run non-stop and gens don't have to. Yeah, that's what I've got going here. This is like a... This is a poor ratio if we wanted to go continuously, but I've basically got the petroleum generators set up as emergency generators. And we can get four kilowatts out of them, uh, which is a lot in this game. Well, kind of a lot. I'll post a screenshot in Discord then. Okie dokie. Um, can we actually reach this? Yes, we can. Fantastic. I do want that set to 100 zero. Um, I think it'll keep giving a green signal until it's full. Yes. And it's teasing us. Not quite full.
There we go. Keep giving a red signal till it's empty. I'm surprised how long it's taking to build this. What did you just do? No. Don't put on an Atmo suit and go through the airlock and then turn around. How dare you. These dupes. Alright, do we have a vacuum here? 340 milligrams. This is 1300 at this end. Maybe I should add another pump. Maybe I should have done that ages ago. But we do have like 59 cycles to set this up, so I'm not that worried. Um, we should probably figure out what I should be sweeping. Probably everything. That dupe does not like to overwork. It would be understandable if they weren't working in their own interest. Okay. And there's about what I had in mind. For the water, although it still looks rather weird. Cool. New streamer is a slave driver? I'm not. It's their colony, they live in it. We're trying to make things better for them. Okay, um, how many Paku do we have? Four? The population's not growing as fast as I imagined it would. As long as it does grow. Uh, can we actually set up automatic population control the same way we did with... Yeah, it looks like we can. No, I don't think we can. We can't wrangle them. There's no, um... There's no auto-wrangle surplus Paku. I don't suppose we can suck Paku away with an auto-sweeper? I'd be very surprised. Tubes are not human, by the way. They are very small. Well, that's what I thought... Uh, I, I find the scale of things in this game to be very strange, because looking at the liquids, you'd think everything is very small, the way it's sticky and blobby and stuff. But then you look at, like, okay, how, how many resources does it take to make this manual airlock? Uh, let's see... 200 kilograms? What? I... Something doesn't add up here. Supplying, farming, building... I think we're good. One tile of water is a thousand kilograms, so adding... a third dimension makes it one cubic meter. Yeah. So why does the liquid behave like it's uh, on the scale of, you know, little droplets? It's very odd. We're still not down to the micrograms. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. 58 cycles left. It's... Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to risk it. One more... One more pump. Get in there. 
and I need a bit of wire here regardless for the airlock that's supposed to be there. Should have done this ages ago. Wait, is that... Oh, we're making it out of steel. Did they already supply it? Nope. There's no need for that to be made of steel. Get in there with that gold amalgam. Something is off-gassing? Um, we do have... There was like a bottle of polluted water. I think we might have picked it up. I did tell them to sweep everything. Um, that'll just about double. 204 milligrams, 29 milligrams. That actually might be a lot faster. Probably helps that this one isn't as much in the corner. All right. Oh, we're looking a little bit low on water. I guess that's not surprising since we just dumped a bunch in here. Um, how are we going with keeping this water coming in? It's supposed to be below 20 degrees and it's at 28 degrees right now. Um, hmm. Our coolant oil is at 28 degrees because it's disabled by automation grid. Um, I think I should be a bit more aggressive with allowing this to use our Juno. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's let's say that if the battery gets half full, we're allowed to use the Thermo Aqua Tuner. I suggest someone to raid if they're still playing when you finish. They're a god on Terraria mechanics. No mic though. Um, I don't know about no mic because I think that's kind of the opposite of what a lot of people are looking for when they come to my stream. I do try to give people something similar to what they're watching in a number of ways. Alright, now we're down to the... We've got vacuum on this side, we're down to the micrograms. That's going a lot faster now. Fair enough. Alright, cheers. Okay, did we get this done? Yes, we did. We're trying to run the natural gas, but we don't have any right now. And... We're still sending oxygen up here. So I don't really want to stop filtering like that. I see one, two, three, four Paku. Okay. Maybe we should capture some more. That'll give us more eggshells as well. Um, speaking of eggshells. Okay, wait. Why have we not gone in here? We've got a path to it, right? 
Probably because I didn't set the priority high enough. Oh no, Lindsay is on the case. Uh, it looks like her movement has improved. She's leveled up a bit. Yes, unmute for coughing, that's what we're here for? Oh no. Fish ranchers need a bit more attention than what you have? What do you mean? What do you mean by attention? Oh, did we open the door? Yeah, now people can finally dig through it. Um, you will see. I mean, I've had the problem before where the population ends up being too high, but I don't... From what I can tell, there's no automatic way around it. Uh-oh. Hey, we have vacuum. Or we will in a few seconds. I think it's doing the thing where the gas pump doesn't actually run and this is about to disappear. Yep. Cool. There's our vacuum. Uh, let's get rid of this. And like this. And then... We need some airlocks. Need to get rid of this one. Uh, and I need some water in here as well. I guess I... Do we have ice? I'd be surprised, but I was surprised earlier. When I had a container that was supposed to be ice to get melted. How is this here? 20 tons of ice. Just sitting in the middle of 25 degree oxygen. Um, wow. Okay. And yeah, I think I had a container here before for ice, and the idea was it would melt and just drop water down here. But somehow we ended up with 20 tons of ice on one tile. And I'm thinking the sheer, like, thermal mass of it. Um, it's just taking so long to melt, it's as if it's not melting at all. Ice is a magic item in Oni, apparently. So, I need to... I think I need to pump some water down here. Which is what I was using this... Uh... Oh wait, that's... I don't need to deke on that. This is why I put this signal switch here before. Um, I was using this to supply water down here before, and we can probably just borrow from that. Um, but we do need to keep the pressure below 1000 kilograms per tile. Which is not going to be difficult. Alright, let's do... Another airlock here, and here. Still got vacuum, fantastic. We've got our power. Let's put radiant pipe for the self-cooling, like this. And insulated pipe here. And even if I half fill this with water, that'll be okay. Ice is a magic solution to adding water in hot builds. Yeah, I was thinking of doing... 
Hmm. I was thinking of putting, like, a storage bin here, requesting just a certain amount of ice, and then deconstructing it. But we'd still have a vacuum. And I don't think the ice would melt. Unfortunately. Although this tile here is 50 degrees. Temp shift plate made of ice. That is bizarre. We don't want to bother using the gas pump unless the atmosphere is higher than X. Did we get our water pipe? Not quite. Is it going to come over here? Even though the liquid vent is shut? Or is it going to be like, I'm trying to go out through the liquid vent? Let me prior this so we can find out. Vacuum is the true magic in Oni? I wonder what real life physics is behind those temp shift plates? Witchcraft. Oh, and it's another bloody cycle, so they're not going to do this for a while. Oh, nope, Harvey's on the job. Good job, Harvey. No, don't go back. Oh. This is why I look really hard for people who can do supplying and construction. Um, who have, like, uh, athletics or strength or whatever. We're literally just waiting on a couple of pieces of pipe here. can technically store so much heat in the room to turn the wall into rock gas eventually. Indeed. Alright, is this our water? Uh, it is not. I'm... I'm not surprised, but I am disappointed. Also, we don't need this anymore, I don't think. What? It's still not coming? Oh, probably because of this liquid bridge. Well, now it makes me wonder if, um... If a liquid vent here that was forced shut wouldn't stop the water from going all the way through here. But probably by the time they build that, we're going to be done filling this up. We might have a little bit of time. Hopefully they build this. Yeah, here we go. Let's find out. Okay, it does actually work the way I hoped the first time. Which means I don't have to have them construct and deconstruct this when I want to change what it does. Cool, cool, cool. And we'll just let that fill... Uh, up to six tiles with water. Although, honestly, we probably don't need that much. Especially considering we're kind of short on water back here. Um, we do have a bunch of 52 degree water we could add in. I did just enable spending more power on cooling, which should bring more water into here because temperature drops, automation signal says you can send in more hot water. It'll take a little while though. What are we printing? Gold amalgam? Sure, why not? 
Surely I could put the ice down here. And maybe it would drop the temperature of the water and melt this way. I guess we can try. Alright, we should be okay to connect these up now. Since they're not going to cook themselves in a vacuum. Uh, and can we finally get this built? Because I want to put the hydrogen in. Fantastic. That hardly justify the way temp shifts plates work in the game. Normal tiles should do the same. Uh, can't say I can follow that. Alright, here we go. Build. Yes. Fantastic. There we go. Just a little hydrogen in this room for better heat conductivity so that it can self-cool. I don't think it's strictly necessary, depending on how much heat you need to deal with, but it certainly doesn't hurt. And hydrogen's basically free. Alright, well, we're going to have to wait 53 cycles um, before we see exactly how well this works. But it should all be pretty much functional. Still impressed how those gas coolers aren't flooded. I mean, yeah, it takes a bit more than uh, some buildings to flood the gas coolers. Um, we're going to have like... 300 something kilograms of steam per tile. That should be more than enough. I could fill it up, but there's really no need. Probably just leave that for now. We could find out exactly how much it takes to flood these, but. Well, why don't we do it somewhere else? actually. Um, I don't have any way of really convenient right now. There's our ice, and it's down to 19.6 tons. I believe it is melting. No, there's more of it up here. Never mind. Never mind. Ice at negative 30.9 degrees. Wasn't this ice at a different temperature? Negative 29.6. Don't tell me it got colder when I brought it down here. That doesn't make any sense. Um, do we have anywhere that's like one time? Oh, I know. I'd be very surprised, but I'm curious. Uh, utilities? Thermo regulator. Alright, so surely this would be flooded, right? But I bet if you completely half submerge it, it probably. probably would still work. For Peter's TV? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I can't see anywhere super duper convenient to build it half submerged. And I don't really want to make a like bucket to do this with, but I guess we could. I find flooding to be an unreliable as it sometimes works under 200 kilograms of water and sometimes floods at 5. What, for the same machine? Do 
Thermoregulator empty pipe. Oh, I think it means input. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we set that up properly already. Uh, and when do I want to turn the thermoregulators off, though? I probably don't. We just want to keep looping the natural gas until it drops below some temperature. Seems good. Well, if I don't put insulated pipe all the way up here, it's definitely going to equalize with the environment. Say 40 degrees. Whoops. Okay. Well, it is going to be a while before we see this one in action. Um, I could set a bit of automation, though, to let us know. Oh, why don't I just do this here? We've, we've already got the same logic. Automation... Uh, automated notifier, rather. I didn't build it out of lead, did I? It's not going to break. No, good. Fantastic. Notice that if you flood the turbine, it becomes hard to unflood it somehow. Oh, kind of like the uh, latch behavior with batteries. Natural gas time. Orange. Pause and zoom. Fantastic. And how are we doing in space? Uh, I dare say we have... Yeah, we've got another 500. We've supposedly got 500 kilo of steel somewhere. Oh, there's a bit up here. Okay. Uh, we should be having no trouble building out our first uh, set of solar panels next time. Or at least we can start building them with no worries of uh, meteors or anything like that. Cool. Let me just save it real quick. And let's see who's streaming. Preferably oxygen not included. Uh, it's looking pretty quiet. It's looking very quiet. Let's have a look at... I think I'll drop in a mucky. It's been a while. Alright, whoops. Uh, yeah, I can't actually raid my own emote. That's not how that works. There we go. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprint Superintendent or Factorio if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And for now, stay safe. Check Discord by. All right, we'll do. See you next time, TSN. Install. Uh, it could be. Are there gaps in that? And that's why there's gaps in that. Now I can. Now I can. Now I can. Now I can. Now.